Top of the top, another episode of Talk and Take a Fade. Got my guy Paul P. Man. Got a special guest up in here. We got DJ T Saw. Yes, you feel me? One of my business partners as well. You know, we get into the story of that. You know what I mean? Get yeah, into yeah. the story how you know how y'all linked up and how we get these clothes cracking up. Man. But yeah, how was y'all week this week, man? Man, how, my, how's it going? My week been, you know, good, you know, chilling, you know what I'm saying, working, you know, do what I doing what I do and everything like that. Was excited to get my gear yes, from sir. the homie right here and everything <laughs> like that. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, what what about you, bro? Man, it took some time, but definitely this week has been amazing, honestly. It's yeah, been amazing. Cause we had BET All-Star Weekend. We had all type of basketball games going on. We made jerseys for people. We made all type of uh, branding clothes for other brands that were popping out this weekend. So this whole little last week been hectic, but it been a good hectic, though. Man, good hectic. that's yeah, dope, we that's dope. They, uh, so they called us at the last minute. I was in Vegas, and uh, uh, Ace, uh, was it Ace Entertainment, Ace, uh, Ace Magazine. Ace Magazine. So they hit me up. It's like, man, uh, the, our jerseys ain't made it, and we need to get these jerseys. I'm like, well, how many pieces? Like 80 pieces, like 40 and 40 top and bottoms. So I'm like, Phew. I'm like, virtually that's impossible. So I called T-Saw, like, hey, bro, uh, uh, Big U and them sent me his boy from Ace. They want to get uh, some, some shit done. Yeah, and he was swamped. He was like, I don't know. Man. I said, look, I'm about, I said, look, I'm about to smash some Vegas right now and get started. So yeah, yeah. I smashed right back that next morning. Though they picked the jerseys up the day before. So yeah, I smashed yeah. back that next morning. We did basically all the work. He was so swamped, he didn't get a chance to touch him. Wow. Yeah. So had I not made it, it would have been, it you know, and, and, and the whole uh, celebrity match was dependent on them jerseys because the jerseys that came up short, you yeah, know, that yeah. came on time. So everybody depended on these jerseys, you know, feel me? I can't have celebrities pissed off because, you know, I'm even though I'm getting it late, yeah, yeah. But it's going to come back cowboy fucked up. Yeah, yep. yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? You already know the game. Yeah, you know, I had 72 yep. hours, you uh -huh. know what I mean? It was yeah, like, yeah. like, nah, I, 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 I came. Yeah, 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 really about, about 46. 40. Yeah, yeah. About 36 hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, oh, yeah. No. And, You know, so I slid back in town, and, and we worked all day. They was busting it down. Bust. He was filling out some other orders. The team came together. We, we busted mm -hmm. down. So, uh the as I was putting together the order, I was like, yeah, you know, uh, I play ball as well. You know what I mean? He's like, oh, for real? So. Uh, went ahead, uh, made me a jersey. Said you get in the game. We uh, play with Gilly, you know. Uh, so my team was down there, and I know my my guy he ball. So I said, come on, I'm gonna get you up in the game. We That's got dope. him a jersey. That's you know dope. what I mean? So uh, uh, it was celebrities there. You know, we played the other team. They were stacked. You know okay. what I mean? So we had number hood. Oh, we, the only star, <laughs> only star really was Gilly. You know what I'm yeah, saying? So yeah, me yeah. and Gilly was you know. On our team, the rest was just, you know, hood, just, you know. <laughs> but, hey, we had a great we game. Had chaotic. That's yeah, dope. Chaotic. That's dope. Chaotic. Okay, chaotic. Yeah, okay, okay, chaotic. okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. So I met a lot of celebrities that I really did not know, you know, like yeah. for years I had nipped, so I never really got a chance to meet all these other celebrities, even though yeah, they know me. Yeah. Uh, uh, Cuban Goody brother was a uh, uh, junior. Oh, brother. what's his yeah. name? That was on Baby Boy, um, right? Uh, uh, is, uh, is it him? Omar? Yeah, Omar. Omar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah he, he had pulled up, showed some support. Uh, uh, Snoop Dogg cereal was out there. We did the commercial for Snoop Dogg. Uh, met a lot of people. It was uh, Papuso? What was his name? Uh, Papoose. 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 Okay. Yeah, yeah. You okay. know what I mean? So yeah. yeah. So we we linked up with a lot. It was a good networking weekend. You know what Dope. I mean? Uh, we got people that want to uh, network and get more clothes done. Yeah. You know, uh, like I said. This guy right here, I mean, I was at the lowest point and I was doing these clothes. I had just got off of Crenshaw and I came downtown. I'm juggling two rents. I'm paying like 16000 a month. Yeah. I'm in the store. He had came in one day to get an order done. And I was like in my chair, like, you know what? I give up. I was, re I was really ready to give up. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what? I'm paying all this rent. I can go stay in Beverly Hills for, you know, 16000 a month. I can go stay in Beverly Hills and still make 16000 a month uh, uh, under a tent for yeah. free. Yeah. I don't have to pay no rent. I can yeah, make that facts. type of money daily. I can make a thousand a day just stepping out the house with a backpack full of shirts or whatever I'm selling. You know, so I was ready to give up. Like, man, it's just, I had 
the big vision. I had the facility. I didn't have the manpower. Yeah, yeah. You know, so he came in like, man, you know what? I'll help out. Yeah, yeah. You know, and and and, and according to the streets, he from the other side. Facts. You feel me? He's from the other side. Mm. So the other side came and said, you know what? Show I'm love. gonna help you out. You know, we show love. Been there yeah. every day since. Wow, wow. So now I'm able to leave and go out of town and orders are getting filled, yeah. you know. Now he's an official partner. Yeah, You yeah. know, came Dope. in trying to get an order, and it's like, you know, I don't believe in a worker's being a worker. I want you to be a partner with me. Yeah, so we yeah. all got interest, so, you know, he swiping cars and he buying stuff and helping us getting it going. Dope. You know what I wow. mean? So he became a partner instantly, in the end, he took a load off of me. Yeah, so yeah. now I'm able to go to Vegas and visit my kids. I'm able to be gone for a week. And no, it was one point in time I couldn't leave. I had two shops. So when I leave this shop, I got to close that shop to go maintain this shop. Yeah. When I leave this shop, we got to close this to go maintain that because yeah. I didn't have the manpower. Yeah. You know, so now I'm able to leave and get stuff done. So that, that was that was a big plus, just how we even linked up. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, so as far as the street codes and stuff, we can't go, oh, the other side. We can't go on that myth. Imagine if he went on that nah. myth, like, oh, he from the other side, I can't yeah. fuck with him. And I yeah. go, hey. So here it is, a, a, a something that we can't connect behind some, a, a, a bullshit street code that can't connect two black men yeah, yeah, over, yeah. Two, over, over some blocks. You know what I mean? So us able to connect, that was big, you know what I mean? Yeah. So when people come in, I say, you know, he from the other side. They like, oh what? Oh yeah, blood, yeah. yeah they right. get to go at, yeah. you know, yeah. they surprised. Like, yeah, like yeah, when, yeah, when, yeah. when they hear wow. me, or yeah. they see my podcast and they see what I'm talking about, then when they come by the shop, they say, oh yeah, this is for real. He ain't yeah. just talking it. Yeah, yeah. He ain't talking it, you know, it, 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 I don't care where you from, you bring something to the table and you willing to be a man, you willing to be a business owner, a partner, then you can come on to the team, as long as you can handle some responsibility. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And he stepped up and handled all the responsibility you know yeah, what I mean? To, yeah, yeah, I came back yeah. to the shop maybe like, you know, I hadn't did a shirt for like a month. So I came back, yeah. I felt out of place. Like they working, everybody going. Doing that, and, yeah, putting in work. And it was a you good know? feeling Every to time me. Every time I've been there, T-Saw was putting like, in work. What you, you doing, know what man? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was a good feeling to me. Yeah, so now yeah. I've been able to uh, branch off and get to Vegas and start working on my chicken and waffles, go look at some real estate and do a bunch dope, of other things. Dope, so, dope. you know, uh, we was talking about with this podcast, we want to show what we do. We don't want to just talk about it. So we this is living proof. Yeah. You know uh, what we do. You know yeah. what I mean. Uh, he helped me as well as I help him. It's a it's a, a hand in hand. It ain't all about me. Yeah. Like I yeah. told when he came to my team, I said I don't want to be the dictator. I wanted to be a team thing. Mm -hmm. I know us as I can do it by myself. Paul P, you can do it by yourself. He can do it by himself. Yeah. But if we do it together, oh, it's on another me? level. Oh, yeah. So when we on that corner it's right there, that can't be stopped. Exactly. We on you that know? corner. You know what they witnessing? Black folks getting along. Yeah, yeah. You know, we yeah. got the hot dog guy coming and doing this thing every day, being yeah. consistent. He been coming in every day, consistent. Youngsters that's just getting out of high school been coming every day, consistent. Yeah, we got a yeah. team, and uh, people are witnessing uh, black folks really getting along, and that's yeah. something that. Mm -hmm. We've never witnessed this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We never witnessed black entrepreneurs actually coming together. This mm -hmm. is a new generation of black entrepreneurs. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Setting up their own businesses. Yeah, yeah. You know, so and that's what it's all about. It's about you know us coming together as black men. You know, let's put the 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 street and the side and all of that that stuff. You know, we not from the same side. Let's 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 separate all of that. Exactly. You know, this is business. If we come together in numbers, who could stop us? You know what I'm saying? Like, look at what happened when y'all came together. Forget about the sides. Look at what happened when y'all came together. And you know, when I when I met you, y'all had your operation going, and I saw an unstoppable operation. Yeah. So I already know, like, okay, this was like an amazing play. What if this didn't happen? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look at what where y'all going, yeah, with, with what y'all doing, and everything yeah, like yeah. that. You know, look at which, you know, just just a little of what y'all did over here when it came down to the gear that we have. Man, this is this is amazing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. So I mean, I respect it, and that's why. I wanted us to sit down and have conversations like this so people could see like when it come down to us coming together, if we come together, we're unstoppable. Yeah, we're unstoppable, right. man. You know, apart, yeah, we could we could go out there and make money. We could take we could even take care of our families, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could do that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't witness that, you know, coming up seeing, you know, if you're doing your thing, you can make money and take care of your family. Yeah. But what about the rest of the family? Man. You know what I'm saying? What about everybody else? What about everybody else that come from where you come from? Yeah. You don't see everybody elevate. You just see 
this person elevated or that person elevated. We tired of that in our community, man. Yeah, we want to see all of us start to elevate. Exactly. And like what you said, teams matter. Yeah. It's no way that we'll be here doing this right now if I didn't have my boy Big Don in the back. Exactly. If I didn't have my bro, if I didn't have exactly. swag, if I didn't have my, my guys around me to exactly. be like, hey, you know what? I like what you put together, P. Yeah. Let us come and let's take this to a whole nother level. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? Exactly. That's how we get to those places, man. Exactly. So I think this is great that we're talking about this right now, you know, because like I said, y'all do amazing work. And I think y'all an amazing Thank team, you, you know, and everything like that. So uh, I, I want the people to also know and understand the gear that we got here on this table. It come from, you know what I'm saying? Right. My boy T-Saw, you know, right. Cowboy. It come from what y'all doing and what y'all, uh, uh, you know, creating right now. So, uh, you know, uh, just just let the people know how you how you do stuff like this, man, because I'm looking at it. I just see amazing work, but you putting in the work. So how do you get to this place to where you get everything that looks so amazing like this? Look, definitely before I hop into that, I just kind of want to piggyback on what Cowboy was saying, y'all was discussing. Yeah. The new motto is red and blue make green. Ooh, that's all it is. Yeah. Red and blue make green. So as yeah. much as Cowboy can sit here and say, I helped him out, I helped do this, I helped do that, it was on both ends. Yeah. Because it was nothing but an opportunity. Yeah, yeah. And that's what people don't understand. A lot of people ask me, even I got family and friends. I was like, oh, be careful, you know, you're doing this, you're doing that. And it's all because they don't know the real cowboy. They don't know what we're doing every day down there. Mm -hmm. You know, so it, it took a lot. You know, it was just, it wasn't sacrifice. There's no such thing as sacrifice. It was an, it was an investment. Yeah, yeah. Here I am coming off the streets on my own. And I also was running a business out of my garage by myself. Wow. No team. Wow. I'm doing this every day. I go down there and the first time I met him, he went, he told me the prices of everything, and I was like, all right, I'm gonna get some money, I'm gonna come back. Yeah. I went, got some money, came back. His situation was different. Instead of seeing him and being like, you know what, uh, he, ain't no, he ain't no nothing I'm about to get on. Yeah. No, I seen a black man here with an established business already, with an established name already, in prime real estate on the corner of Maine and Pico. Uh. Where else can you get that? Yeah, to work with another black man in downtown Los Angeles. You can go to any downtown area in this state, and I guarantee you, you will not be able to walk in somebody's business and just join in on their business. Yeah, and talk to them some easy. Not in a downtown area; it costs a lot of money. So I just want to say thank you for presenting with me that that opportunity because it was yeah. just my branding in itself has grown not just because of the marketing and things I've been doing, it's because of my partner is. Yeah, yeah. Look who he brings around. The things that he brings to the table, you know, his stature in itself is going to bring people around. So it was just, it was all an investment. Yeah. It was an investment opportunity to work with more black men, keep a black business in downtown. Because as you know, we, one of the only is what, maybe two black owned yeah. businesses yeah, yeah. in the fashion industry. 10 block radius, yeah. Wow. Yeah, two. About 10 block radius, any that you can see, you got people that rent little booths or whatever, but we actually got our own brick and mortar spot that we were actually doing our own thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So wow. other than that, you, you, you'll you catch some brothers. You don't even see brothers out there even uh, breaking down boxes. I don't even see them hiring brothers, you know yeah. what I mean? So it's big to shine on our corner with the big picture of Nip on the corner, you yeah. know, that, that, that was good coming off of Crenshaw then to be able to, uh, and come to a neutral ground where yeah. now I run across everybody. We run across Bloods, Crips, Hoovers, we run across everybody, but uh, we're in the heart of the fashion district. So most of the Bloods, most of the Crips, most of the Hoovers or whoever we run across that's uh, uh, gang affiliated, you know what I mean? Uh, they're entrepreneurs. They're down mm -hmm. there trying to build their brand. Yeah. You know what I mean? They're not down there to gangbang. They're down there looking for T-shirts. They're down there looking to get some designs. They're down there. So so just the pool of people that we get to network with is great. You That's know what dope. I mean? Because the, the majority of the people that we meet, uh, and a lot of brothers spend a lot of money down there. A lot of brothers pass us up because yeah. they programmed to pass us up. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. And we're not mad at them, but they programmed to pass us up. And yeah. uh my thing is at least tap in with us, see see if we can at least compete with their prices, check with us first. Yeah, you yeah. know, uh, they'll go next door and they'll get treated like shit, then they'll come fuck with us, then yeah. then, they, mm -hmm. then then they they're good. Once yeah. they come to us, then they see us home. Then, yeah. you know, once we get a customer, they there for good. Like, oh yeah, this is this is the spot, you yeah, know what facts, I mean? So facts. just, uh, we gotta break that chain of being programmed and we gotta learn to deal with each other. Yeah, you definitely, I mean? definitely. And T, so you, you know, before we move forward, you said something important that I, I, I wanna point out and, and elaborate on. And I think it's important to do that because you know, um, a lot of people who don't know may have a different perspective. You said that P 
people may have had questions when you first started working with mm -hmm. you know the big homie and everything like that because they don't know they like why are you doing this why are you not doing this over here and everything like that you mm -hmm. kind of said you touched on that a little bit and I just and I just want to point out, man, you know, a lot of times on this Internet and, and what people hear and, and what people see without even knowing what's going on, have an opinion about something. They don't really know who the individual is. They right. just see somebody. OK, I heard this story. I heard that story and everything like that. But just like what you said, I want people to understand something, man. And, I, and I'm not I, on my mother. I'm not just saying this. When I first met the big homie and everything like that. Cowboy is one of the most genuine, coolest dudes I've ever met that'll do anything. You know what I'm saying right. for you, especially if he if he see you as family, if he see you as someone who respect him. You know what I'm saying? He gonna give you the same respect back. You know, so that's the only thing I've ever got from the big homie. So a lot of people who got their opinions, they don't know him. So I already know when you first when you like y'all connected. People may not know, but it's a reason why y'all came together yes. you get what i'm saying mm -hmm. it's a big reason why y'all still connected you know and it's a big reason why y'all like brothers and like family now you right. know it's because cowboy's a very genuine guy you know i mean a lot of times if it's somebody like you tell me all the time you know dudes out there that may not got a job and everything like that hey if you want to come in here and work you know what i'm saying come in here and work how many people is going to do that bro how many people going to let people come inside of their yeah. business or their establishment yeah. over the street you know what i'm saying that's hungry to to come in there and work not knowing who that person is hey, we you know what i'm saying hey, got, like that's yeah, that's we real right there though i don't you know some crazy though <laughs> yeah you know what i mean i yeah. heard some 51 50s and we like hold up like yeah, you know what yeah, i mean yeah. i done, I done opened the door for some motherfuckers like oh you know what i mean yeah 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 business yeah real business. talk real yeah, talk yeah, come down there we, so we my kind heart sometimes you know you know i can't uh grandma said you know it's time for me to be a little selfish i mean you know i'm so healthy facts it's time for me to go ahead and buckle down for myself you yeah know yeah I mean? yeah uh, i'm lacking a lot of things because I, i'm so giving you yeah know what i mean so, but having that middle ground is how you connect and build your business up with exactly. connecting with somebody exactly. like t-saw exactly. exactly. you know what i'm exactly. saying and everything like that right. you know and and, and why to me, it's important to speak on this, too, because one thing that I got to say coming from me, big homie, is that, look, man, I, I know when it come down to to you, bro, you could be out here on any podcast. You got, you know what I'm saying? You cowboy. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Doing whatever you want, wherever. But I respect and love your loyalty and your brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? You like, nah, you know what? P over there doing something that I like. I'm gonna uh, fuck with him. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And and you loyal to that. And that's something that you don't get from many people, man. Especially yeah, yeah. someone who they could go over here, go over there, do this, do that. You don't yeah. get that from yeah. a lot of individuals. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I could tell, you know what I'm saying, when it comes down to how loyal, genuine, you know what I'm saying, and everything like that you are, and I see that with what y'all doing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I see that over here and, and we gonna bring it together and take yeah. this shit to a whole nother level. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it man, this this is beautiful. Though. Yeah, see me, it was yeah. about the message. It wasn't just about running around getting the bag. You know, uh, so yeah. many people had nip questions. Like, if I wanted to get the bag, I could just be just talking. Yeah, you know what I mean? Uh, it was more or less the message. You know, I wanted to keep a positive message, and I want to show them that we could do this. I don't want to. Yeah. Uh, all week, you know, we've been looking at uh, uh, gang banging stuff. Everybody justifying gang bang. Everybody want to want to be this big tough gang banger or whatever. You know, I'm looking at all this internet stuff. Everybody trying to prove how hood they are. Uh, we just lost a 16 year old kid at Crenshaw High School. You know, a uh, star athlete. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So some some gang bangers ran and gunned him down. You know, yeah. ain't no honor in that. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, gang bangers, if, if, if you gang banging and you run across other gang banging that's on that page and y'all on that, that's y'all business. Y'all yeah. handle, handle your candle and you handle mm -hmm. your stuff. But when you gunning down innocent bystanders, motherfuckers with potentials, that's a violation. Mm -hmm. That's a no go. Yeah. I don't want to yeah. hear that. You're talking about who telling, who snitching. When you gun down innocent bystanders that have potential, you, you, you gunning down, you know, uh, members of the society that not gang bangers. Yeah. The, you know, the police don't mind gangbangers killing gangbangers. Yeah. But when you wind up shooting civilians and old ladies and little kids and shit, there's going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. You know, the, the, this kid, 16-year-old, you know, had a bright future. Yeah. And for, for some young little thugs to take him out, that ain't cool. Yeah, yeah. I don't care what nobody got to say. That ain't cool. Ain't no honoring. Uh, you ain't no gang. You ain't no, no. 
just because you from a gang or you from a hood, that don't mean you don't got morals, don't mean you got principles. You know, if you playing ball, you play ball with the niggas that's playing ball. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't prey on the weak, you don't prey on the, on the innocent. You don't do that, ain't no stripes in that. Yeah. You feel me? So we addressing all these snitch rules, we addressing all these rules. What, what about the rules when, when, when a homie kill another homie? What about the rules when, when, when an innocent bystander get killed? What, what about those rules? Yeah, what yeah. about those violations? You know what I mean? If you want to gangbang, do your thing, but do it with motherfuckers that's gangbanging. Mm -hmm. Don't do it to the old lady or do it to the nigga that's walking, taking care of his kids. You know, go with you playing ball, go play ball with the ball players. Yeah. You feel me? So, you know, uh, uh, I hollered at the big homie, I had wanted Big U to do some stuff, you know, and, uh, and, and he was like, uh, why set myself up for motherfuckers to put their own spin on it? You know, mm -hmm. like, you know what I mean? You know, mm -hmm. I, he got a lot to say, but I, he can come say what he want to say, but why? So they can spin their sound bites on it and put their narrative on it. And, yeah. you know, like, I let them know, like, yeah, all these narratives going on, you know, our podcast is putting ours out, but they are still clips and put their narrative out. Yeah. So people get it twisted. That's not cowboy speaking. When you listen to cowboy, cowboy speak for itself. Facts. I don't need a narrator behind it. Say, well, cowboy feel this way. Cowboy going at it with the '60s. Cowboy, I know. I don't need nobody speaking for me. I don't need a narrator. Yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? So you know, niggas like me or Big U may speak. Then you got this narrator trying to decipher. Well, he really mean this. That's facts. We don't really mean you nothing. See it all we, the time. We mean what we say. Yeah, yeah. It ain't what I ain't no subliminals. Yeah. It, it is what we say. So we yeah. don't need nobody to steal a clip and, and give their version of it. You yeah. know what I mean? So yeah. I understood what he was talking about. You know yeah, what I nah, mean? Yeah, no, no, facts. And, uh, uh, and yeah. I gotta respect that. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know why set yourself up for? You know. For, why, why set yourself up for, yeah, uh, yeah. for the bullshit? I mean, yeah, because we see that out here a lot, you know, especially on social media, man. You see yeah. stuff flipped all the time, you know. Um, and it's something that I wanted to point out that you said about the young, you know, uh, dude who, you know, lost his life, man, you know, unfortunately, who went to Crenshaw High. Um, the, the, it, we don't ever want to see nobody, you know, get killed, gunned down, whatever, you know, in the first place, you know. Yeah. But one thing that makes me even sicker to my stomach is that we keep seeing the ones who could really do some changes to this community man when it come down to our communities in the future and that could really help individuals in the future we taking down individuals who could really create some real changes in the hood and the streets you know what i'm saying who come from our communities and everything like that and i'm like damn like what are we doing you know what i'm saying yeah. because of some hatred because of some, oh man, I don't like him, or oh man, you know, I, I'm not who he is, you know, or or uh, oh he got my girl or whatever, over stupid stuff like that. We taking on to taking out people who could really create some real changes in our communities, man. Do people really understand how much we lost losing them? I, I don't know if people really understand. I don't know if people really could fathom that shit. They don't. Like, bro, we lost so much, you know, losing it, so much, and yes. Nip Spear's still here. Don't get me wrong, you know. You know, uh, when it come down to, you know, you big homie, like, you know, you shout Nip name to the mountains top. And, and I know uh, people, yeah. you know, got a lot of love for you for that. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure it's family and stuff like that too. But Nip actually not being here in the physical, we as a black community, we lose so much from that shit. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, the young Dolphs and, and a lot of other um, black men that we lost, the Pop Smokes and all of them, you know, losing the young guy, Quincy, I believe his name. Yeah. Who went to Crenshaw High? We lost a lot mm -hmm. losing him. You get what I'm saying? And I want us to start thinking about that and understanding that part right there. You know, even the people who are in that life, really living that life, going out and creating these, you know, uh, 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 um, robberies, murders, whatever it is. I want them to even understand. Look, bro, we we losing so much in our community. We are not going to get ahead when it come down to, you know, our culture if we continue to go about it like this because these other cultures ain't doing that. These other coaches, they like, hey, we're going to put this person on because we know what he could do. Or we know what she could do. Us, we hating. Oh, man, I don't got what he got. Or I don't got his swag. I don't got his game. Oh, he taking my girl or the girls I like, so I'm going to take him out. Mm -hmm. Come on, bro. Like, we ain't never going to get nowhere doing that shit. Yeah. So we just got to understand the loss <laughs> when it come down to stuff like that. Because that part right there, it makes me sick to my stomach every time I see that because I know how important 
that person was to the community Man. and that really fucks me up you know i'm not gonna lie to you paul I, i'm the type of person where i try to see the positive in everything yeah and everything and yes it was a loss but it's a loss that needed to happen i hear okay well, I didn't okay i hear you because our young man really got to see who nip was i was somebody i was not no nip fan nip was another crip rapping to me yeah i never really listened to him until victory lap and i was on the ship out at sea and I really was just listening to him like, damn, this nigga on some shit. Really listening to him. And then right after Victory Lap, it wasn't too long, you know what I'm saying, until he made his demise. Yeah. As me, as far as being a fan of Nip. Yeah. But it's something that needed to happen. And it's something that has to happen in society because we live in America. We live in a place where everything is hidden. Everything is swept under the rug. Everything is supposed to be forgotten. So when things like that happen, it reminds us, us of who we really are. You really get to see a prime example of a God living, of a of a Jesus living. We all can do that. We all we all have that in us, and that's what we gotta understand. So yes, it's it's a loss, but at the same time, it's not a loss because now how many how many young fellas out there want to be a nip? Hadn't he never met his demise, they probably would be still doing their thing, maybe having too much pride to look up to somebody who's alive, you know what I'm saying, not even really realizing the value in them. You know, they say you don't recognize the value in somebody or something until it's gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So a lot of times we want people like Nip to stay around, but they aren't meant to stay around for a long time. Yeah, yeah. And, and I feel and I feel you on that because God don't make no mistakes, so I'm with you on that, yeah. right, when it comes down no to mistakes. it. And a lot of people did learn and grow from what we saw, you know, happen in that situation with Nip or even maybe a Pop Smoke or a Young Dolphin and everything, yeah. right? The only thing that I'm looking, also looking at when it come down to situations like that is it's only us, though. You don't see this in other communities when it comes down to those type of That's losses. Facts. You know what I'm saying? So I get it. Yeah. A lot of us learn and get educated after we see something like that happen. But we got to get to a point, man, where we start to support each other and uplift mm -hmm. each other and not continue to take each other out where we got to continue mm -hmm. to just learn lessons from it. It's you get what I'm saying? It, it, so so it I, I get it. You know, I'm just saying, man, I, I just want us to get to a point, man, where we just start to have this conversation as well. Mm -hmm. So we can understand like, yeah, we could learn something from it. But, man, these are also huge losses, man. Yeah, you know, we don't want to be the only culture out here mm -hmm. that's taking out our, 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 our biggest monumental figures. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So we can learn something about it later. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? So so I feel what you're saying, though, yeah. too. Yeah, 100%. You, look, it took 400 years. 400 years we was in the times that we was in. Yeah. So it's going to take maybe twice as long as that. Yeah, yeah. So we, we getting there. Yeah. We getting there. We had a time where we getting there. I'm starting to even see some of my homies. Post about ah you y'all niggas want to go out there and run up on the ops. Well, can you buy a house? You know what I'm saying. If you get jammed up, can That's you help yourself about. out? Can yeah. you help your homie out? So the the narrative is definitely starting to change. You yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? A lot of a lot of cats are, are starting to mature in their positions that they in because we we tired. Yeah, yeah. And that's right. one thing I do like that has been going on in our community, like what we doing here. The conversation is now happening. It's you happening. know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. we have that conversation here. You know, I don't know about other podcasts and what they doing. You know what I'm saying? Because we know we still see ma on the majority. We still see bullshit, mm -hmm. but we starting to have those conversations. You know, we definitely having it here. So you right about that. You know, the more we have these conversations and people start to pay attention to to the real messages the real. and what could really help them, even as individuals who may not have an idea how to get out the hood how to get out the streets mm -hmm. you know they start to listen then we'll start to see real changes because at the end of the day people just want to have hope or feel like hey yeah. i got a way out i got a way to grow you know what i'm saying because mm -hmm. you know where we come from man growing up a lot of us we didn't know what we was going to do we knew what we wanted to do but we didn't know right. how we was going to do it right. you know because all we saw around us was people who didn't make it you know and individuals who was on food stamps section a just trying to you know living check to check just living day by day mm -hmm. so we didn't really see how you can make it out now people are starting to see starting and to educate see themselves by watching you know situations and shows like this yeah. you know and other people who are really putting out information to help grow mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so we it, we do see a lot more of that now so you know you're right about that definitely yeah, you got to be yeah. patient with it you yeah, gotta be patient talk. with it. I've, i didn't been through so much you know what i'm saying just watching others around me just grow yeah i'm like ooh, you know I, it was a point in time where i was like man tired of dealing with my people yeah yeah you know what i'm saying when i deal with black people i gotta deal with this i gotta deal with that uh, I, got, I got tired of it yeah yeah you know but then it comes a point in time to where i, I ran into the ones that were just like me yeah 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 they just want the hustle 
Yeah. They just want to make some bread. Yeah, facts. Like I said, red and blue make green. You don't really think about all the other stuff. And when you get with your people that's on the same level as you, yeah. you get what we got right now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So there is a change happening. And there's a lot of folks that's that, a are, fact. that are, they're tired of it. Uh-huh. They're tired of it. Yeah, You yeah. know, we, we starting to educate ourselves. We starting to learn as much stuff. We didn't talk about business-wise with yeah. credit, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying, yeah, with, with our yeah. businesses and uh-huh. we, we yeah. filing, estate. having an EIN yeah. separate from your social security. You know, it's it's a lot of things that we've been teaching each other and learning. Uh-huh. And it, 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 it is definitely happening. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because we the ones that's, we really in the field. Yeah, yeah, facts, We, we facts. out there every day. We really yeah. coming from them neighborhoods. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? So we got, when we put people on, we putting our people on. Uh-huh. We not going to go out and look for others. We we know the we know the real. We know the repercussions of going out. We've done that already. Yeah, yeah. It's time to stay home and and teach our people. Now I feel yeah. like that that message has been being preached more and more. Especially twenty twenty three, we've been paying attention. Yeah, yeah. And like I said, to start the conversation, the fall of Nip was definitely a lot of dudes coming together to pay attention. Yeah, yeah. You, yeah. you got what? Who was that? The game put on there with with um or Snoop Dogg and one of his. When his audio clips, he was saying, yeah, Nip, I, you know, I went, and uh, it was a song by Dave East. He was saying, yeah, Nip, I went in your hood, it was A-Trey Gangsters, it was this, that, that. You know what I'm saying? That's that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. You know, for a movement like that to happen, for a lot of enemies to get together in one place over one man, that's a lot. Yeah, yeah. So when I tell you, like, when it's a, when you look at the death of Nip and all these greats, you gotta look at what comes after that. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. want us to focus on the bad. They want us to focus on the negative. But if you continuously focusing on that, that's what your life gonna be. That's oh yeah, facts, life. facts. Yeah, yeah. It's that de- it's definitely beauty in 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 seeing the changes that occurred. You know what I'm saying? You know, mm-hmm. um, even after you know Nip and everything like that. You know, his yeah. presence is still here. Period. You know what I'm we'll saying? Always be so, here. so he does not die. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, so definitely, you right about that. You know, uh, but you know, we want to put that out there and also put out there like let's. Let's start working together, man. We yeah. don't got to keep yeah. on taking each other out. You know what I'm saying? Facts, and everything facts. like that. You know what I'm saying? We got to protect each other. You know, facts. so it's really it's, speaking on it. Like you know, it, it take it take real men to speak on change. A lot of these niggas is stuck in their ways. They still want to. Oh, this nigga this, this nigga that. No, shit done changed. We're not saying the rules done changed. If you out there doing a crime, and you tell on a nigga, yeah, you a stitch. Okay, we we facts. we beyond that. My thing is, quit doing crimes, quit fucking up. You ain't got to worry about nobody telling on you. So we we not we not preaching go do crimes. If you're doing crimes, you got to worry about somebody telling on you. So that's that's your business. That's your personal business. But what about change? What are we going to do so you ain't got to commit crimes? What do you got to do to make a business decision? So I, I've been committing crimes all my life, you know, and just the – the the time I've been doing legit shit, I made way more money than I ever could made in my life doing crimes. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So you do a couple yeah. crimes, hit a couple licks, but you sit down for five years. You feel me? You, you come up real fast, but then you got to sit down for 18 months, 42 months, or whatever amount of time you mm-hmm. get, because eventually you get caught up. So what we're saying is do the right thing. You ain't got to worry about those those laws. Those laws that you're talking about, snitching and all this shit, you ain't got to abide by none of that because you're not even in that category because you're a citizen mm-hmm. doing citizen shit. Yeah. You're not twisting. You're not worried about nobody telling on you. You're riding around legit. You're doing what you got to do. Right. So mm-hmm. that's what we on as far as change, being a law abiding a citizen. You know what I mean? Take care of your business. You're a business owner now. You got no business. Like me, I can't hang on the block no more. There's no reason. Yeah. What the fuck I need to be on the block for when I got a business I got to open up in the morning? Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? So now you separate yourself. The niggas that's on the block, they gonna be on the block. That's what they do. You feel me? Me, if I ain't on the block selling or serving, why am I there? There's no yeah. reason to be there. Yeah. You feel me? If I'm not sitting there drinking a beer, if I'm not there to stop and drink a beer and hang out on the grass and and, and, and duck bullets, then there's no need to be there. So now yeah. I separated myself. So once I separated myself, then you start dealing with other business owners. You yeah, start dealing yeah. with other people who are like-minded uh-huh, people. Uh-huh. So if you're the only one in your circle talking about, oh, yeah, I want to have me a Lamborghini, you only want thinking outside the box, you in the wrong circle. Wrong right. circle. You know man, what I mean? I wanna, I, my dreams is big. I want a nigga, <coughs> I want a nigga where my dreams is big. Yeah, that nigga dreams is bigger than mine. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? I don't want to be the nigga. Me. I don't want to be the nigga with the biggest you dreams, know? you know? Yeah. I like when I tell my nigga, man, we about to have this, we about to have that, when their mm-hmm. eyes light up, because I want to show them, nigga, you about 
about to have these things. Yeah, yeah. You know, we guys, children, we supposed to have these things. Mm -hmm. We supposed mm -hmm. to have that. Yeah, we supposed to be out here shining. Don't yeah. think we supposed to. Don't think just Christians and, and believers are supposed to be punks and the little little angels. Nah, we out here soldiers. We riders. Facts. You feel me? We supposed to have the, everything, the finest things on earth because we serve. Because who we serve, we supposed to be taking care. We supposed to have everything. Yeah, yeah. Everything we want, just ask for it. Mm -hmm. On the Rolls Royce, I want a Bentley. Whatever I'm doing, I'm gonna let everybody know you got it for me. I'm gonna let I'm gonna let them know who got that for me. Yeah, yeah. As long as you give him the glory for whatever you want, it don't matter because everything you got, every breath you take, yeah. bro, give it to you. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, Nip had a purpose when he was in his casket with that smile. It was job well done. He did that. Right. You know what I mean? So I analyzed them. There's nothing I could have done. There's no way I look at everything and there's nothing I could have done, but he served his purpose on earth. Yeah. So now what's Cowboy's purpose? What's T-Saw's purpose? What's Paul mm -hmm. P purpose? So we got to find our niches and serve our purpose on earth. So when we pass, we there with a smile. Facts. Good job, my son. Come on, let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? With yeah. that smirk on your face. Like, don't be sad, nigga. I looked, yeah, at, yeah. I looked at Nip like this. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at a nigga's beard full of life, you know, chains on, sitting there just like, like, man, look at bro. I've been to a million funerals, but I'm looking at bro, he got that like, like, nigga, I did that. Different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did that, that glow, like, nigga, I, psh, yeah. I see niggas when they dead and everything looks sucked in, or they, mm -hmm. they, their skin is all black, or they just yeah. look like whatever. Like, nigga, this nigga hardcore gangbanger, I don't know where this nigga went. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> like, that's the homie, but that nigga was this shit. I don't know. I got love for the nigga, but like, damn, this nigga was yeah, You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With Nip, I'm like, I know bro was good. Yeah. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah, Some finners yeah. I go to, like, ugh, shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? I love the nigga, but now I hope he was right. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, like I said, with, with Nip, you know, that keep me going. I know he served his purpose on earth and I seen the bigger picture afterwards. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. that keep me going, you know. Yeah, uh, yeah. I, I sat on Crenshaw, I said, man, if niggas gonna get me, they gonna get me right here. Yeah. They gonna get me right here, I'm gonna sit here every day. You know, if niggas think I got something to do with it, no matter what they think, I'm gonna sit right here. Yeah. If, if we gonna handle it, it's gonna be right here. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And, you know, uh, it's gonna be in the same spot. And, yeah. You know, I sat down there long enough, and Grandma said, "You know what? It's time for you to go." You yeah, know, you yeah. know what I mean? It's time to move on. Yeah, real talk, real you talk. Know. I mean, that's one thing that I I can at least say when it comes down to the situation. One hundred percent. You know what? Nip, nip did so much though you know that a lot of people could look back and reflect and be like okay i could learn from a lot that nip did you know to take things to another level yeah. or or to keep you know moving forward from what he did and take that to another level or whatever right mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so yeah you could see a lot of that you know in Nip, but like what you said about the 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 um 16 year old at crenshaw high yeah. you know too young man you know what i'm saying a lot of people don't get to serve their purpose yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, um, you know, put things out there because of those situations. But at yeah. the end of the day, man, you know, we are thankful for the situations like a nip or even, a, you know, a young Dolph and, and some of the individuals yeah. who we, we the lost that. We like, OK, great ones. I could learn something from what they left. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And what they built here as well. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, the loss, it hurts. But it's but I could learn a lot from, you know, um, seeing what he did, what he left, you know, and everything like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So. So yeah, man. Um, yeah, we you know already when you know when it come down, we're gonna jump on a couple of uh, topics because you know, like I say, well, what we do, we like to flip, you know, and especially gotcha. when we got you here becoming, we like to flip topics, mm -hmm. turn, you know what I'm saying, a, a topic that may look like this into something that could be positive or a message, right? Jeez, you know, on. but um, before we jump into that, uh, I just want you, uh, T Saw, because you know, here with us, man, you know, you a busy <laughs> man, brother. Man, you know, we never know we could have T Saw in the building, so I want people to know, like, what you know, you got your shirt on with your gear, you got you know oh, some yeah, gear you definitely. did for us, just other people know a little bit about what you do and how you do it oh yeah so definitely you know y'all know t so we waiting yeah. to the and, interview and let me say one thing <laughs> i seen in the comments i was reading the comment i had the the aso that don't mean all money out that mean all surface only, all surface only. so i seen somebody with the comment wow. i seen somebody in the comments said no wonder them all money and niggas don't fuck with cuz he got the all wow. money out hat off so it was a so it's all surface what? only it's not all money out so wow <laughs> they'll make up anything we, we so they right. thought that was we all money that, out that all money <laughs> out was all surface only so i seen that wow. said wow they put in there too said, no wonder them niggas don't fuck with cuz he had the all money out hat on i said, <laughs> I said I hear cuz 
<laughs> he wanna start anything, <laughs> man. Anything. He clout me, man. So that's this not. This nigga didn't really have love for Nip. So that's <laughs> not all money, y'all. That's, that's all surface only, man. You got to ride yeah. your wave, though. So I'm Facts. riding the wave Facts. right yeah, now. Yeah, I'm riding yeah. the wave. Yeah, riding yeah, the wave, yeah. man. So we you can tell you more about the the brand, but uh, yeah. all surface only. Uh, like I said, came in uh, just wanted to get some work done, and now yeah. we, we business partners, and I can depend on somebody I can depend on. Man, you know I mean? that's so, what's up. Okay, Facts. okay. So when we get when we. I'm not gonna lie, earlier you asked me, like, how do you get to the point to where you know you're making these clothes and you getting these things right? To be honest, we just treat it like our brand. Mm. When we in the shop, I tell everybody, like, yo, when we designing this, the effort that you put forward into it, you should, you should be putting that same effort yeah. into, into their stuff. The same you would put in yours, you should put into theirs. And so that's all it is. So when you tell me you give me creative space, you gave me a uh, creative, Creative, uh, pretty much just, yeah, creative space to do what I want. Yeah. It's always good, simple to talk to you. And so when I just get ideas from you, and from there, we make it happen. Yeah, yeah. But other than that, it's just, we just treat it like our own brand. Yeah, this is yeah. my brand. This is how I would see it. This is how I would want it. I want it to stand out. I would be satisfied with this. And I honestly wouldn't even give you anything if I looked at it, made it. And yeah. I was like, uh, it's kind of ugly. Uh, I can't rock with it. Yeah, we done paid yeah, for so yeah. many, so much clothes that we done fucked up. You know what yeah. I mean? Got to come out of pocket, but to make sure the customer's straight. You know, yeah, you fuck yeah. up something like, nah, this ain't gonna go. Yeah. You know, go buy three, four more of them shirts. Don't try to throw them in the pile and that. Let's let's get it right. You wow, know? get it right. I though. fucked up probably. I don't know how many of your shirts. Yeah, <laughs> I was yeah, like, too, no, look. I ain't gave. Yeah. Well, I said I quit. Now nah, y'all got the alley. You know, he said, I, mean? I don't do this no more. Yeah, yeah, I don't do this. Yeah, yeah, it's all good. I fucked up the first dozen. Like, no, I quit. Man, I could, I could. but but I too but, want I want people to understand though too. A lot of times I'm not sitting down there writing stuff down and designing and saying okay T so I want it exactly like that. A lot of times I'm like hey, do your thing. Do your you know thing. what I'm saying? Do your thing. So I want people to, like like you you go off of our vision, but people need to understand when it comes down to you your talent, mm -hmm. your creativity, mm -hmm. your vision. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. a lot of times people ain't laying it all out, you know, like yeah. a picture for you. Yeah. A lot of times they're like, look, I got this is the, this is the logo. Uh, you know, this hey, I wanted this word to be on it. That's all I got. The and you're like, okay. Like, they always yeah. say like, I want yeah. something like this. I want something like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, I say, oh, it sounds like to me you not sure what you want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So if you give me the green light, then I yeah. get you right. Yeah, and that's yeah. how it is. Even if, for prime example, I made this. The scrap jacket right here. Mm -hmm. The scrap jacket Dope. has every pretty much prime example of what we do. You know, it has on here DTF, director film. It has on here 3D puff. Yeah. It has on here regular vinyl, which chameleon glows in the dark. We hit the lights, I'm shining. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? It has on here in the front, it's all black and white. The back, all colors. So it kind of just give people an idea of what you can do for your brand. Yeah, yeah. I wear this, you can consider this as my work shirt. Yeah, yeah. And just all servers only. Man. Like Cowboy said earlier, you want to explain all servers only. All servers only really is just everything that we've been talking about. Mm. All servers only is kind of just looking at red and blue make green. You know, it's all surfers only. Everybody always asks me, like, do you surf? Yeah, yeah. That's what people will think. You know and what I'm saying? And I tell them, like, where the board you know at? It, but you don't, you a surfer. Yeah, yeah. You know, all servers only is actually an acronym. People really pay attention to it. You see right here. It's always look out for loved ones, support mm -hmm. unconditionally. Remember, fear enters right when success is obtained and never lack youthfulness. Wow. So it's a reminder, it's, it's a mantra, it's, it's more than just a, you know, Nike just do it. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things can come with just do it. Just do bad shit, just do this, just do that. You know, we come in with something that's really just for us. Yeah. It's meant yeah. for us, always look out for loved ones. Yeah. It's a constant reminder of something that we have been trained and taught to not do. Mm. I say in a song, how we grow up thinking money don't mix with loved ones. Mm. <laughs> you feel me? It's just we've been programmed. Yeah. So I'm trying to don't do reprogram You can't do business with your family. Exactly. Don't do that with your family. Don't do that with your family. Mm. Family going to take advantage. Family going to yeah. do this. You know. So I'm, I'm trying to change the narrative and constantly remind always look out for loved ones. Mm -hmm. Use your kids' credit to you get that phone saying? bill back in 79, <laughs> nigga. I got a phone oh. bill back in the nigga. That's what happened to me. God damn it. That's what happened yeah. to me. Oh, Found oh, out my credit was fucked up at 17. Hey, you know, hey you know where we coming Come from. You know what Come I'm on. saying? We all share the same stories, Come bro. On. We all share. You so know? It's, just, yeah. it's, it's a constant reminder of, of a way to live. Support yeah, yeah. unconditionally. Yeah. yeah. Support is free. 
You know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't understand. Like, I'm starting a brand. I'm a rapper. I'm this. I'm that. All you got to do is share, comment. That's support. I'm not asking you to spend a dollar on me. Yeah. Not a dime. All I'm asking you to do is tell a friend. Support unconditionally. Uh. Remember, fear enters right when success is obtained. Yeah. How many times that everybody in this world could say right when they was about to make a decision to change their life or do something that was that was considered an investment that they got scared and backed out. Got scared. Mm. Fear enters right when success is obtained. Yeah, yeah. The moment you scared and nervous, you there. Yeah. You are there. This is the moment that you've been waiting for. It don't feel as you wanted it to feel. You know what I'm saying? The universe makes no mistakes, but you're there. Yeah, yeah. So don't be scared. Continuously go through. Like I said, when I'm dealing with Cowboy, a lot of people try to put that in my head, that fear. Fear enters right when success is obtained. That's all That's I thought fact. about. My own brand, I'm like, I don't care about what they saying. They don't see the real. Uh -huh. I know what I know. Yeah. They fear. That's their fear. It's uh -huh. not my fear. So I never allowed it to become my fear. Yeah, yeah. And last, last of it is, it never lack youthfulness. Never lack youthfulness. That person you were when you was younger, before the world got to you, before the world told you, oh yeah, you gotta be this to be a man. You gotta be that, you gotta be strong, you gotta be, you was yourself. Mm -hmm. You walked around and you did things because you wanted to, you had no fear. When you were a kid, you would go work a whole job just to buy one pair of shoes. You know, but as an adult, you don't think that way. You think about responsibilities, you think about all type of other things. People think when, of you. Other people's come opinions on. and shit. Other opinions. Yeah. You think about a whole bunch of stuff that the world and the matrix that didn't, didn't put it on put on you. Yeah. I mean, so I was like never like youthfulness. I was out washing some windows and I'll be like, why are you doing that? Like, nigga, I'm hustling. But he looked at it different. I was making bread though, but I was busting windows. I had fresh cars and fresh shit, but for him looking like, man, why are you doing man? I just gave you some money. Yeah. I didn't need nobody to give me nothing, I'll bust your windows down. Nigga got man. Man, all y'all niggas got all these fresh cars, nigga. Man, let me get about 15 cars out here. Let me get yeah. niggas seven, ten dollars a car real fast. Yeah, yeah I was yeah. I was doing my windows. Mm -hmm. So you know what I mean? So it ain't about what, what people perceive, you know what I mean? You that same motherfucker out there pounding, he might ride around the corner, jump in his Porsche. You never yeah. know. You yeah. know what I mean? So we didn't see you, 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 once you go against the grain, you don't care what people think or say, you know. Yeah. Uh me, I'm that person that they don't know. Mm -hmm. So, you know, all my life they seen, you know, I was a light skinned nigga, so I always had that mug. I had to, you know, I had to be like this. You know what I mean? Yeah. But if you talk to me like that, that nigga good, he cool nigga. You feel me? All the niggas I never beat up in high school, them niggas got good <laughs> jobs. And they're my friends to these days. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, I'm glad I didn't beat yeah, that nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? I'm glad I was always the one that that, that, that rode for the underdogs. Yeah, you know, I'm yeah. glad I was never a bully because I knew how to fight. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. It took me getting beat up a lot, you know, to learn how to fight. You know, and I didn't abuse the fact that I could fight. Yeah. You know what I mean? So I'm teaching my son how to fight now. You know what I mean? So now that little nigga hitting hard now. So you know what mm -hmm. I mean? But I'm letting you know just because I'm teaching you how to fight. It's not to abuse it, it's to protect yourself. Yeah, yeah. You right. feel me? It's to protect yourself. And then if somebody do something to you in the process of protecting it, you got to do what you got to do. But it's not, if I catch you abusing it, we going to have a problem. Yeah, so yeah. now we got to raise our kids. You know, today I was thinking, I was on my way here, I was thinking, we're raising our kids, telling them, don't do it like I do. Don't, don't, don't do what you see daddy uh -huh. do. No, 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 no. Now do what daddy do, cause daddy should be doing the right shit. Mm -hmm. Don't tell your kids, don't do as I do. Don't smoke, cause you see me, you know, cause you see me smoking. They gonna smoke, cause they see you smoking. Mm -hmm. Facts. Quit raising our kids, talking about don't do like daddy do. Show them what daddy do, or keep what daddy do out their face. Mm -hmm. Period. You feel me? Don't keep raising our kids. Yeah, don't do like daddy do. You gonna be better than daddy. Nah, show them. Mm -hmm. Or don't show them none of that bullshit. Don't show them that. Keep it out that way. We too, we too willy nilly with our kids. They mm -hmm. seeing too much conversation. Yeah, that bitch and that whole ass motherfucker. The kid three, shut the fuck up. Talking in front of his kid. Yeah. You feel me? Where's the filter with our children? Our children six, seven, eight, and they getting, they watching their mamas going at it. Fuck you, bitch ass nigga. Like, come on, these children. Yeah, man. yeah. You feel me? So when we gonna put a filter on this shit? Yeah. You know what I mean? There ain't no filter on none of this shit. So everybody gotta be so who could be the toughest. This Jerry Springer. 
You feel me? Tell your kids, don't don't let nobody disrespect you. Mm-hmm. Everybody going to school like that. Nigga, yeah. better not step on my shoes. Yeah, yeah. You put you some feel kids me? in the house. Put you know what? Okay, nigga, stepped on your house. shoes. You'll okay, see. yeah, my you know my bad, homie. No, no, it ain't just a pair of shoes. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no need me getting my nose busted over these shoes. All right, it's all <laughs> good. You know what I mean? Yeah, Live yeah. another day. You ain't no coward. You smart. Mm-hmm. You ain't a coward because you, you chose to fight another day. You know what? I'm good. Yeah. You a smart guy. Mm-hmm. Easy to run to the violence because the nigga that runs to the violence, where he going? Phew. That pit bull, when they get to get cracking, where it's going? It's going to sleep. Yeah. That pit bull bite that child, so you, you got to raise your dog. So you raise your children because if you don't raise your children right, they got the juvenile hall for them. They got mm-hmm. these prisons for them. It's like they got that. You raise that pit bull and he bite the wrong motherfucker, he they going to put him to sleep. Mm-hmm. Your child do something wrong, they gon' got consequences. They gonna take them from you, and they gotta go through this bullshit. You know what I mean? So we gotta raise our children. Yeah, Quit yeah. telling them don't do it like you see daddy do. Mm-hmm. That's Feel a me? fact. Let, let them see daddy doing something right. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? Fuck all that. You know what I mean? Let them see daddy doing the right thing. Yeah, yeah. I mean, nah, that's a fact. You know, that's one thing that I said growing up. That's what I heard from all my uncles and people, my pops, people around me. Oh, don't do it. You gotta do it differently. And I said. I never want to tell that to my own kids when I have kids. Mm-hmm. I want to be able. I want to be able to tell my kids, "Hey, do it exactly how your pops did it." Right. You know what Facts. I'm saying? Take it to Facts. another level, but do it how your pops yeah. did it. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to be sit back and say, "Well, don't don't do this. This I, I made mistakes. I should have did this differently. Mm-hmm. I regret this." Uh, no, nah, I don't want to have no regrets. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Yeah. So you I know. was rolling the blunt in front of my son. My son, uh, six, you know, seven. I was rolling the blunt, and he looked at me and said, "Dad, when I get older, can I smoke?" Like, nah, you can't smoke. Hell nah. Well, dad, you do it. What could I say? Mm-hmm. Dad, when I get older, can I smoke like you? And I'm telling him, nah, nigga, you can't do no shit like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. But nah, mm-hmm. you Your feel first me? Instinct. But yeah. it's honest, he's an honesty dad. You know, see, dad, you really think, huh? dad over there. <laughs> yeah, you feel yeah. me? Nah, you know what? Nah, you can't do that. Like, I'm going to take this out to the garage. Mm-hmm. Gotta watch what I do. Now he thinking the cool. Now daddy gone. Now he might be in there rolling up some paper. He don't want to fuck around with a lighter and do like daddy. That's how we do. Burn down yeah. the house. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Exactly so, how so we, we got to realize <laughs> we, 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 we role models. You know what I mean? We yeah. got to be role models. We can't just talk about it. We can't tell them, don't do what we do. Nah. Mm-hmm. Be a role model. Like yeah, I said, yeah. if, if it's something you're lacking in and you say you're smoking cigarettes and you can't give it up, but you give it up for the kids or, mm-hmm. or get it out of there. Where they don't see it, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Because they they young and they vulnerable. They want to see what daddy do. They want to yeah. be like daddy. You know what I mean? They see daddy working out. They gonna work out. They see daddy reading books. They see daddy rapping. My son want to rap. We see daddy uh-huh. doing. But then they mm-hmm. take on. They see daddy rolling weed too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Feel me? So don't don't think they gonna just pick up the good qualities in you. They gonna pick up the bad too if you if you expose them to it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it's on us to raise our children. You know That's what I mean? Right. Uh, it's a certain generation that you know that's still pushing this bullshit that need to get out the way because yeah. there's other generations we trying to raise up like, no, nah, that ain't cool. Yeah, That yeah. ain't cool no more. First, second generation gang banging. Okay, y'all didn't know no better. This generation, gener- no, nah, it's time to get better. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, 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 first couple generations, y'all didn't know. First generations of crackheads, y'all didn't know. Nigga, nine, nine generations of crackheads later, nigga, y'all should know that that ain't yeah. the shit. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. That ain't what it is. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Yeah. So that generation down line, blood's like, you know what? Them Crips is cool over there. Yeah. Crips, mm-hmm. oh yeah, them blood's over there cool. Oh, them niggas, they turned up. Them niggas, yeah, they out there playing yeah, ball. Yeah. Them niggas is wild as a motherfucker. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So we got to get around like-minded, like-minded bloods, mm-hmm. like-minded Crips or whatever, like-minded mm-hmm. black men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the label here, blood, yeah, I'm a yeah. Crip. The black man. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, all these little bullshit titles we got. We got a whole rainbow of colors that separate us. Mm-hmm. And we got a rainbow of blocks that separate us. Mm-hmm. But we all the same color. We all got the same DNA. We all we all got that melanin in our skin. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? We all the same. You feel me? Different shades of the same motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah. So we need to get along. That's a fact. Oh, That's we got a fact. to. That's it's what it's about. We got to. Other than that, what are we doing? Yeah, yeah. Is everybody individuals and we just kill up each other? And it's always the motherfuckers that ain't got nothing or the lazy motherfuckers, should I say. You know, it's easy to say, fuck, let me go rob a motherfucker versus let me go get a job at McDonald's and humble myself. Yeah. You know, there's a lot of opportunities for work right now. You believe it or not, there's a lot of opportunities for work. A lot of motherfuckers is hiring 
but motherfuckers don't want to work. Don't want to work at all, bro. They're looking for the twist. They're looking for the twist. Work. They're looking for the come up. They're looking yeah. for the scam. Yeah, yeah. And that's on them. Yeah. But that money don't last. Mm -hmm. Sit back and earn it. You know what I mean? I watch my credit score go up, notch by notch by notch. Little and by I, little. I start fucking up, and I watch them all go down, 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 down. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You know, it went down faster than it went up. Exactly. Down, exactly. it went down. Exactly. Right down. Exactly. Max out of car, like what the fuck? You yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah, so yeah. you know. Yep. Yep. You know, it's how we operate. We gotta learn to operate. We, we gotta, do. We gotta operate differently, yeah. and we gotta learn how to be law-abiding citizens yeah, and yeah. take care of doing it the right way. We've been programmed to do it the wrong way. Facts, facts. You know, and, and you know, with, with, with that being said, I wanna flip some topics into like what we talking about. You know, and try and try to go into a direction where you know uh, you could give a, a point of view in a different you know angle and lane. You know, and everything like that. But um. You know, we spoke on a little bit of this last week, you know, when we talked about social media, how social media is a drug. Power up, Everybody, man. you know, is out there doing, you know, something to try to go viral or to prove a point, you know, or whatever, you know, all type of things we see, we see out there and everything like that, right? Mm -hmm. You know, um, and a little while ago, I saw um, a, vi a video, um, you know, and, and we, we've we seen this in the past, you know, I think 6 9 done it before. We've seen this, you know, in the past when it came down to individuals who do videos. Hey, I'm here. You know, look at this and everything like that. But it was a video where, um, you know, Brick Baby popped up in the, in, the, in the hood and everything like that. You know, and um, I just want to know, we don't even have to really too much touch on him doing it. But when you see people do these videos and everything like that to maybe show this or show that, like, and, and it's always us. If you think about it, it's always us who have to show a hey, we about that we do this or we could do that and everything like that what are your thoughts just on us as 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 black people you know having to prove something or having to show a hey, we this we that we here what is just your thoughts on that as us as a community always doing things like that yeah well social media drive you to do some dumb shit you know what i mean uh you know i went back you know uh you know, I seen a little publicity stunt and I seen what it was, you know what I mean? Like I said, I addressed it before, God is good that, it, that, that I was preoccupied, you know what I mean? So that was a good thing. But, you know, antagonizing the hood, that's not a good thing. Uh, uh, I was hollering at the, the homie Big Cat and, uh, and you know, cause as the video went on, they put like, you know, oh, he was out there with Cat, it must be solidified. So like I think yesterday I was on my live I pushed up on Cat like hey bro I, I know you you didn't know Cubs you didn't really know it. man like <laughs> <laughs> man, like I said uh, I, I I told the homies I'm gonna leave the situation alone away it was a publicity stunt and then then you know a couple of these jokers that he came down there with or whatever now uh, they under the microscope as well you know what I mean it's like you don't antagonize the hood I, I'm a fixture in the hood. It ain't, it ain't no question of that. Everybody else is trying to prove they're from around there. That's one thing I don't gotta prove. Yeah. I don't gotta prove I'm from around there. I'm just trying to prove that I'm trying to change around there. I'm trying to change the shit around there. Yeah. I'm not trying to prove that I'm bent over. These niggas is trying to prove that they was over there, that they from there. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to prove that. I'm trying to prove that. You know what? I, I, I'm from over here, but I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to prove something else. Yeah, yeah. They trying to prove that they're just even from there. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you know, they, them niggas got license to carry guns and shit. So they niggas got clean. Them niggas got clean records. Yeah. You know, so <laughs> yeah, ain't too many niggas in my community got clean records. I yeah. never seen a nigga go to the yeah. feds and get a bail. <laughs> you went to the feds and got a bail. When the feds come get you, they come get you, and ain't no bail. Yeah, ain't no yeah, bail. Yeah, ain't yeah, no yeah, bail. Yeah, so yeah. I'm gonna leave yeah. that guy alone. Yeah. I, I think live. that's what just came out. He was in the feds or well, something like well, that. Well, that guy yeah. needs to yeah. get left alone, nigga. If the feds swoop you up and you out that fast, you neg negatory. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to hear nothing. Ain't no feds came and got nobody in, nigga, and they get a $30,000 bill, please. No. No, no, Not no. Not $30,000. Wow. No, no, yo. First you, of all, you can't fed a fed case. It's at least just 10000 on the regular. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the streets. Yeah, yeah facts, so you think 30000 bill with the feds? Yeah, no, yeah, well, yeah, like no, I said, no, regardless no. of that clown situation, he brought unnecessary attention to himself because he willy-nilly with his mouth. You feel me? I'm on change. I'm trying to change the community, and you on, you on some nigga, on some cuz, you on some high power, you know. You, we see what happened to Tookie, nigga. You want to be Tookie, you be the next Tookie. I'm talking about gang-bang change. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fuck that. I'm talking about change. 
I'm not talking about a nigga, a nigga keep on, keep on doing this. So what these niggas is talking about, keep on with the bullshit. Mm -hmm. Keep killing each other, keep killing each other. That's what y'all preaching. You feel me? Score gang, score gang. You feel me? Go score, nigga. But mm -hmm. don't be scoring on no little kids, motherfuckers. Yeah, yeah, you feel me? Yeah, go play ball fact. with the niggas that's playing ball. Nigga, ain't nobody disputing that. We're not even gonna discuss that. Y'all go play ball. Yeah. But when they're innocent bystanders and other motherfuckers that ain't playing ball get involved and they getting hurt, that involves the feds, that involves the police, that involves gang, they, they will let you kill each other. Yeah. They do not mind gangbangers killing each other. Yeah. You dumbass niggas want to kill each other, go ahead. Do your thing. But don't kill the old lady, don't kill this college motherfucker athlete, this pro could be a pro star. Man. You feel me, now you got issues. Yeah. You feel me? So you niggas quit pushing that propaganda because y'all not living that lifestyle. So you disrupting what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do change. I don't want you niggas going to prison. I don't want you going to, I don't want you on drugs. I don't want you killing each other. I don't want you gang banging. I don't want you doing none of that. I want you to stop that shit. I want all these niggas from these hoods to be like, little niggas, look, don't look up to this shit. Look at social media all this month, all this year, you should see like, look, these gang banging niggas, niggas is some busters. Niggas some bitches. Mm -hmm. Cousin told them to take fades. Cousin told them this, told them this, told them that. Niggas is busters. Yeah. So fuck looking up to these busters, these weenies. Look up to these niggas that's mad enough to say, you know what, we trying to change. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck a gangbanger that's mm -hmm. stuck in his way. Talking about, oh, cuz this, cuz that. Nigga, fuck all that, nigga. Fuck all that shit. Take too much, it take too much time and effort to even talk like that. To cross out every word, bicking back, being boo, cuz, five, fives, man, and all man. the Ah damn, it take a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> it take a whole lot to keep up with all that shit. God yeah, damn. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. It's easier to do the right thing. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? That's just what I'm pushing. Do the right thing. Fuck all that bullshit. We ain't got nothing to prove. If you was really out there gangbanging, nigga, you ain't you know, we all lost loved ones. Yeah. We all lost loved ones Facts. on every side, every side. Okay, at some point we got to get over it or we gonna keep losing ones. And now we losing ones that matter. Active gangbangers going at it, that's what we do. We signed up for that. But when these civilians is involved, it got to be some rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. Y'all talking about all these other bullshit rules, but what about when civilians is involved? Cause the civilians involve everything else. The shit y'all running from. Feds is all in your business, cause civilians is involved. They don't give a fuck about you niggas killing each other. You wanna be some niggas and kill yourself, be stupid enough and do that. Yeah, yeah. They don't yeah. give a fuck about that, bro. They don't care, cause y'all right into the trap. As long as you in the trap, who cares? But when you involve in innocent people, it's gonna be a problem. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gonna be a problem. The National Guard will be down here to shut some shit down if it get too serious. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It's gonna be a problem. So. I'm tired of just everybody talking about this gang banging shit, looking up to it like it's cool. This shit is not cool. It is not cool in no way, no fashion. Ain't cool. So we gotta step up and say it ain't cool. Yeah. Be businessmen. Fuck being known as the nigga from 60s, the nigga from wherever you from. I see all this shit, Crip Cowboy, Crip this, no. Nah. What about business owner cowboy? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Facts. You feel me? Uh, you know what I mean? An advocate for a social change. You know, a person that's speaking on it, but it's Crip Cowboy. OG Rolling 60 Cowboy. Why I gotta have that title? Why it can't be, you know, Cowboy looking for change Cowboy. cowboy. Yeah, yeah, you facts. know, looking for change Cowboy, positive Cowboy. You mm -hmm. feel me? Cowboy the business owner. Cowboy that's trying to change some shit. Yeah, yeah. OG Crip Cowboy so they can get the click. Yeah. You feel me? I'm not condoning cripping and blood, and I'm not condoning none of that. All I'm saying is it's time to change. Yeah, yeah. We grew up in that. We had no choice. We grew up in that. But now, years later, let's change. Let's get out of that. Let's have a brotherhood. Let's be brothers again. Mm -hmm. Our, your grandparents had to be brothers because they was fighting the vote. Mm. They was fighting That's us to fact. drink out the water fountain. Real shit. Now we can drink out of any water fountain we want and go steal and go kill a nigga if we want. We got too many rights. Mm -hmm. we, we, we might as well been back slaves. There'd be more niggas around. We were still yeah, slaves. Yeah, There'd be more niggas yeah, living. Yeah, yeah. You might as well <laughs> stay on the plantation if we gonna kill each other, That's nigga. And we'll be more connected and together. I'm just saying, for real, you had no choice. We'd have been chained up together, nigga, <laughs> shit. Yeah. Now we got all these rights. We can vote, we can do everything. We got the right to kill a nigga. Mm -hmm. 
and get on the podcast and talk about it. <laughs> yeah, 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 I'm just yeah. saying, come on, this shit is crazy. <laughs> yeah, real crazy, yeah. I yeah. mean, for real. These niggas is telling on each other and the fans are sitting there like, look at these idiots. Get your shit together. Quit killing each other. Quit doing crimes. Get you a business. Apply for a loan. Check your credit. Do you know what your credit score is? Most in our community I'm don't. I'm say, have you checked it? My shit was low, and it said my shit was better than 80% of most of these motherfuckers. <laughs> my shit was low. <laughs> you're better than half of America, nigga. <laughs> like, yeah. Shit, what up, man? Fire on this shit. Like, that's real. <laughs> <Too much. laughs> man, you know, hey, th that's why, though, I, that's, see, I want the people to pay attention, man. This is why I bring up certain topics. It ain't for, it, it, I want people to know, it ain't for no beef shit. It's for, because I know when it come down to, to, to you, Cowboy, it's going to be flipped in a way to where, hey, yeah, that's what happened. Yeah, it may not look good, but this is what we should be doing. And it's the direction we should be going in when it come down to it. Yeah. Because you already know, a lot of people just want to take something like that, cut a whole bunch of clips up of some negative shit, and that's what's going on now in the, in the, on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. You know? See, I want to bring up something. See, I don't think it was people who really felt oh cowboy did something wrong snitch or whatever people was was saying when you said what you said on making sure people knew that hey nip didn't say that i think people was more mad damn now we can't say and have the propaganda yeah. oh nip it called that nigga snitch up. it, fuck it fucked up. a lot of people's story up you get what i'm saying they so, live and die by that you story. get what i'm saying i think that's what it is when it come down to it you know when it come down to you sitting at this table you flipping shit into a direction of where it's like hey this is the direction we should be going in with this yeah. you know and a lot of people they want the they want the fuck shit they want the bullshit and everything like that you know what i'm saying but it's okay because we're gonna flip it uh, we're gonna have people now like you know what i'm tired of that let's go let's let's go over here and listen to this message you get what i'm saying to get your credit right. real you talk because I mean? yeah. my credit have jumped up a hundred in a month i jump my mm -hmm. shit in a hundred you yeah. know what i mean i might have dropped it 200 the next month what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what i mean but so you know how to play ball yeah we we yeah, 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 yeah learn how to play ball learn how to get some of this money like you know i've been to every prison in california i didn't did every drug there is i, I didn't gang bang i didn't did it all so my thing is what's your problem yeah. You know, ain't no reason you shouldn't make it. You feel me? I done had, I done went through amazing ob obstacles. I done hopped gates, fences, you know. I done jumped out of buildings. I mean, I done, uh, I jumped out of a building in Vegas and I when I smacked the ground, you know, I rolled like, I rolled across the street, you know what I mean? And I, my feet stung for like, for months. Like months, I'm off tingling, you know. But I went back and I looked at the building I jumped out of, like how the fuck did I make that? Yeah. The simple fact, you know, when I smacked the ground, I rolled across the street and shit like that. I said, man, I got a purpose. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Shit like that, I had a purpose. You know, when I'm doing like 90 on my motorcycle and I slide through the intersection and I'm on one foot and it feel like something holding me up. Mm -hmm. Cars swerving out of my way. You know what I mean? Like, shit like that, I'm like, man, I got a purpose. You yeah, know what I mean? Yeah. And once you realize you got a purpose on earth and you look at all the shit you've been through, all the times I done faced life, all the times I done been in the them jails and I see niggas, they, they didn't leave that yard. They died on them yards. I, mm -hmm. You know, when I go through the Supermax and I'm walking through Supermax, niggas like, cowboy, and I'm looking at all these black men hanging their arms out the bars yeah. and these big old cages. And I'm walking past and I'm looking at all these young niggas out here just taking fades behind here and just gang of niggas back here. Cause now it ain't like you just in there with the, the essays and the Mexicans, you in there with a whole black dorm full of niggas. The essays is over here. Y'all just looking at each other through these cages. Yeah, You feel me? So you just sitting up in here, just looking at this cage after cage after cage of niggas that's just fucking up. Yeah. Nigga, you every, you going to prison, you going to prison. He bailing yeah. out, he this, he that, he a smoker. Just like, you just living under these conditions. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So when you get out, your mentality is just like, you just, you a beast and, 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 and you been a caged animal. Mm -hmm. So now when you come home, that's all you just, these niggas been packing you out every week. I understand you mad as a motherfucker. You was in jail and they fucking you up. So you got animosity with these hoods and shit, but you, that's what yeah. you signed up for. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? Your arms weren't as long as cowboys, nigga, and they, they, was, they was touching you up. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? But that's what you signed up for. Yeah. You decide to get this on your face. You decide to whack that hood out. Uh -huh. but when you go up in there, nigga, nigga, oh, nigga, oh, that, oh yeah, up yeah. under the stairs. We yeah. need that, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So. Yeah, yeah.
you yeah. know man yeah that go back to you what know. you said earlier when you was like uh just what we think about the internet warriors shoot i just with the internet people social media i just hope that you prepared to deal with everything that come with it yeah yeah and that's what people got to understand about social media and the internet once it's on the internet it's on there anybody can go back read it analyze everything you didn't said call this whoop 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 and see what's up so i yeah. hope Everybody who out there who loves social media and love putting their business out there, I just hope you're ready to deal with yeah, yeah. everything that come with it. Yeah, and that's yeah. what that's when, a fact. Big U was well, telling me fact. that today. When you was telling me that, they're like, hey, man, we got the podcast. He was like, nah. I'm like, and he explained. I'm like, I understand. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. I understand. Yeah. Cause you understand? We get no, up I get and we it. chop, yeah. chop, chop, and bam, next thing you know, it's a thousand different narr- narratives. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. And it's all misconstrued. Mm-hmm. You yeah. know what I mean? So why even set yourself up for that? Sometimes less to be said. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Let's say yeah. less. You know what I mean? Then that's one less sound bite for them. Yeah, right? yeah. To put they on though, because he say something da 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 da. He say, oh, Big U speaks on this guy, and Big U speaks yeah. on that guy. And now it's a big old wave. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. So I, I I can understand that. You know, and, uh, me I still talk to my big homies and I respect them. You know what I mean? Uh, the other homie put out some videos today I didn't agree with. The homie called me from prison like, damn, why could I put these videos out? This shit ain't cool. You know, uh, uh, Kev Mac video. So, you know, you tap in, bro, bro. Uh, uh, baby Kev ain't feeling it. Uh, you know what I mean? You feel me? You got niggas in prison still trying to come home. They don't want their stories on the internet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But uh, shit like that. I, I'm connected with niggas in prisons. You know what I mean? Niggas that got life. You know what I mean? So it ain't nothing an internet nigga can tell me. Yeah. You know, uh, if I did some file and I went to prison right now, I'm gonna walk the main line and I'm not gonna have no problems no matter what yard I go on. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It don't matter no matter what yard I go on, I'm gonna be straight. You yeah, know what yeah. I mean? It don't matter level one to level four. It yeah. ain't gonna make no difference. I'm yeah. gonna walk any yard, you know what I mean? Because I know yeah. I'm straight. Yeah. You know what I mean? And uh, everybody can't say that. Yeah, yeah. You know, everybody mm-hmm. ain't on that grown man where they can say they gonna pack their shit up and walk their yard. Yeah, yeah. Cause you on some grown man shit when you hit that yard. Yeah, yeah. Ain't no the homies got your bag, you got your burners and all that. You 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 a grown man when you hit that yard. Yeah, yeah. You feel me? So that that tell a true story. A lot of these niggas, they never been tested. They got clean. They got clean records. The niggas licensed. You know they good. They never yeah. been on them yards. I've been on them yards. Mm-hmm. I witnessed life and death on them yards. And I don't want no. I commend homies that. Could stay out of bullshit, and they got license to carry their burners. Yeah, they got to secure. I commend those that you grew up in the hood and you were still able to get your shit right. Yeah, some mm-hmm. of these guys that got shipped away, and they still trying to prove themselves. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't go for that. Yeah, yeah. You got shipped away, and now you want to come back and prove yourself? No. Nah. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's totally different, you know. Mm-hmm. We've been here, ain't going nowhere. Yeah. So for for me to be a full fledged active member of a of a hood, and for me to go against all of that, because now I say that's bullshit. When I'm watching little kids dying, that's bullshit. Yeah, yeah. That's bullshit. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I can't stand behind something. If you from a gang, and you look at your gang, just everybody analyze that gang. Just look around and see. Do you feel that love? Actually, do you really feel that love? Just look at your gang and look around your gang. Actually, do you really feel that love? And if you honestly say you feel that love, continue to do what you do. Yeah, yeah. But I can't think, nair nigga, all these hoods, nobody feel that love no more. Mm-hmm. So it's time to change up. Nobody don't feel that love no more. If you honestly feel you can just, you know, I got that love for the hood, the homies got my back and they gonna ride for me to the wheels for you really feel that way. Continue to do that. Yeah, yeah. And it's gonna be a sad day. You're gonna be in tears. Yeah, yeah. Waiting on your homies to have your back when you in that cell. You're gonna be in tears. Waiting on one of your homies. You'll be lucky you have a nigga like Cowboy that's gonna send you some soups. Cause the niggas you think got your back ain't gonna send you nothing. It's gonna be a nigga like me that's gonna send you something. Yeah, yeah. So you have, you have all, man, I got homies call me collect every day and nigga, they looking at this shit like, man, this shit is fucked up. Yeah, yeah. They can't get a grain. I'm talking about been down 20 something, 26, 25 years, been down. Yeah. You feeling feeling fucked up. They got phones, they looking on social media, checking out shit like, nigga, what the fuck is going on out there? You yeah, know, a lot yeah. of motherfuckers gave up their lives 
you know, and we out here just making a mockery of it. Man, crazy, mm-hmm. crazy. You know and you mean? know what you said is really, really important for people who maybe don't come from, you know, the hoods and streets that we come from to really understand because it is a fine line. And um, it's not easy to go down that line and not, you know, join the gang or you know be a part of this or be a part of that and, and i can admit like man not joining yeah, the pack yeah like, and, nigga, i grew up in the hood all my life nigga, and, and i chose it to, 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 to be a lawyer i chose to yeah, do this i chose yeah. to work for the post office and yeah nigga, and, nigga, and fuck you niggas i'm still post with office. it yeah yeah that, that that showed me more heart than anything yeah anybody yeah. can join the pack yeah oh y'all i'm with these niggas now i'm just with the hyenas now they all scary the yeah. Hy- yeah, yeah, yeah. one nigga gonna buy he gonna run yeah yeah but it's a pack of them motherfuckers so yeah. you know they just come in get their little nibble and go yeah yeah then but that lion he's standing alone yeah but a pack of hyenas eventually will get that nigga yeah yeah you facts but facts. they all scary yeah yeah one of them get a little bite and run back yeah, the next yeah. nigga get a little bite and run back yeah yeah nobody want to stand up to the nigga because they're gonna get served so they got a sneak attack, and that's what we going through. Yeah. Sneak attacks mm-hmm. from these niggas that, that ain't shit. We getting sneak attacks, because we, we we the ones out here shining. We the ones out here on the positive. The light in our eyes, that's what's shining. Yeah. So we getting attacked by all these little bullshit hyenas that's around here. Yeah, yeah. That's what it is, just attack. When you're on the right page, you're gonna get attacked. Yeah, right? that's a fact, you know? And I brought that up too, because I want people to know that, you know, it it, it ain't, it, it, it is important to, to speak on that, and it ain't easy to stay out of those environments and those circles when you come up in that because i was one of them you know what i'm saying everybody else around me they was they was banging you know i was mm-hmm. i was one conversation from one uncle or this uh, person away from being on. a part of great yeah. 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 you know what i'm saying yeah. one conversation you get what i'm saying yeah. okay mother like you going out there to merino yeah. valley for a little bit you get what i'm saying you got to get out of here you know oh, i was yeah. one conversation or one drive away from from all of that type of stuff you know and of course we young and black we still later we get into shit here and there right but we already know once you are part of that pack, when you are part of that, your life going a totally different direction. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? You know, and everything like that. So, you know, it is good to speak on it from both angles and both because we all come from the same hoods and same streets. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that's the other side of it. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, and everything like that. So I think it's important that you point that out because a lot of people don't know who don't come from around there. You know what I'm saying? They just right. look at things one way. But now nah, it's a story. When it come down to growing up in the hood, it's a story. Yeah. And that's why it's important for us all to tell our stories yeah. so people can hear all of them. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah, you know. And, and this is a new generation. Like, I remember, you know, in early gangbanging times when you were coming up, it was a it was a little bit of, like, a lot of motherfuckers, like, forced. Yeah. There's no force into being gangbanging nowadays. There ain't no force. You understand? It's more or less if you want to fit in with those niggas. Mm-hmm. You feel me? So it ain't no force. You know, like like back in the early gangbang, like, nigga, you going to be from the hood, nigga. And now it ain't no force. Like, you know, ain't nobody pressuring nobody. Like, nigga, you ain't from the hood, nigga. We going to do something to you. No, it ain't like that. So, so you, or now it's choices. Yeah. You choose to fuck your life up. I can say I had a choice. I chose to hang with these knucklehead niggas, and I chose to go to prison four or five times. That was my yeah, choice. Yeah. I chose that, you know what I mean? I had a good family, had a good upbringing. I could have chose to just stick with school and stick and do this. Yeah. I chose the gang bang, I chose to fuck my life up. I, mean, I beat a homie up, I beat an old homie up because he told me, man, fuck that shit. He changed his life and I was mad. I was mad because Cud changed his life. And I'm like, now you changed your life after I fucked mine up? We was in prison. Now you trying to tell me why we in the cell, that nigga, oh, that was some bullshit. Nigga, what? I fucked him up. Damn. But now later on, I'm like, damn, that was fucked up. You feel me? Cause I'm on, I'm in the same boat. Like nigga, hey, look, bro, bro, that shit ain't cool no more. You know what I mean? But I was mad at the time, cause I had looked up to these niggas. Yeah, yeah. Like, I wanted to be like these niggas. Now for you to tell me you give up, I, I, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't feel that. So me, I can't give up on them. Mm-hmm. I can just give them some advice and try to get them right. I can't just give up and say, you know, fuck them. Go jump in the Phantom and go. You know, ride through the hood and chunk the hood up and keep going. Yeah, yeah. I gotta stop. Say, hold up, bro. That ain't cool. What you writing on the wall for? Why you doing this? You know what I mean? I still got to school them. Other, other than that, I don't care about them. When I quit giving a fuck about them, I just, just, just say fuck it. Let me go live life. You know. But I'm constantly on my homies' heads. Get your shit together. You know what I mean? Because like I said, I know where Nip. St- I know, I know, I know where Nip started at. He was a positive person. He jumped into some negativity. Then he went back to the positive. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So I see he, he he had to jump in it. And I told him, bro, look, it's bullshit, it's some bullshit. But he wasn't listening, but he was listening. Mm-hmm. Got into the bullshit, jumped out. Yeah. Then he talked about it. 
He talked about it. Listen, listen to Bullets Ain't Got No Names. And listen to all them early albums where he talking about riding through other hoods, putting in work. Then look as he transitioned to like, no, nah, that shit wasn't cool. Yeah, yeah. He touched something, he said, no, nah, it wasn't cool. I'm like, nigga, I told you, nigga. <laughs> <It's> bullshit, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? But he had to, and that, and you gotta be solidified in the hood. You know, if it never wasn't really solidified, anybody can come up and say, nigga, what you got in your pocket? But he was solid. Yeah. So couldn't nobody come up and, and, and say nothing because he was solid. He squabbled up, got put on. It was no, these other niggas is trying to prove this shit. Yeah. Nip didn't have to prove he was from the hood. Everybody was, it was common knowledge. So why are these other niggas trying so hard to prove? Yeah. Cowboy don't got to prove. I got five or six niggas that I had to fight to get put on. They, that's proof enough. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, the, the dick baby dude said he squabbled nip. Ain't no witnesses. Hey, we ain't got no nigga to vouch for that. Wow, I didn't even know he said that. Well, yeah, he, he said on no yeah, jump he that he squabbled that, nip. Yeah. So how did that wow, work out? Okay. So if you squab off on these yeah, so no, if you gonna squabble that. nip, why won't you squabble me? The nip was way younger. Nip had bigger arm, longer arm, nigga. Yeah, taller, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you trying to tell me you squabble nip? Oh, I'm not squabbling wow. cowboy because you gotta understand. No, you ain't squabbling cowboy because you gonna beat your ass. <laughs> I mean, simple as that. Ain't, ain't no mystery. I'm gonna beat your ass, nigga. Ain't, ain't, you feel me? So quit playing mm -hmm. games. Yeah. Quit trying to prove you from somewhere that you was from for a summer or two. We'll give you that. Yeah. When I talked to the homie nigga, he said how these niggas rolled up. <laughs> these niggas rolled up to the donut shop. So first, first, a car pull up and the homie jump out. He walk up and down the block. He walk down Victoria. And the homie's like, who, what the fuck is the homie doing? So he come scout the scene. 600 guy roll up, jump out, take his little pistol. <laughs> we go, do his little shit. The homie's like, Fuck are these weird ass niggas. Feel me? All of a sudden, the brick truck come through. After somebody done scouted, walked the block and all that shit. Mm -hmm. Come on out, shake everybody's hand. Don't shake the big homie hand. Big homie in the background talking. And all of a sudden, you say, oh, he must be solid because he hanging with the general. I go talk to the general yesterday. He like, no, I didn't even know the clown was there. Wow. And he said, I went up to the block. And when I came back, it was a ghost town. Mm. So it is that was a publicity stunt. But my thing is the homies, the hood, nobody like that shit. And if you're a big homie and you you had that clown right there, you're supposed to say, hold up. Don't you got the issue with homie? I'm the big homie. Let me let me find out where bro at so y'all can mm -hmm. squabble up and let's 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 continue. You, you, was, de you was dear. Yeah, yeah. You should have got it over with. Yeah. You should have took your little squabble. Feel me? Because I'm the one that's gonna squabble you up, then when you're on the ground, I'm gonna let you get up. Now I'm gonna slide you again, I'm gonna let you get up. I'm not gonna stomp you out. I'm not gonna treat you as if you're not a homie. Mm -hmm. You feel me? I'm gonna, I'm gonna boop off you for sure. Yeah. But I'm gonna give you a fair one. So now you jumping out with armed boxers. Nigga's a trainer and he's licensed to carry, <laughs> okay? So <laughs> that's none of my business. But you pulled up with all you this. With a Rambo, huh? <laughs> I'm just saying for skinny old cowboy. But you so hood. I pull up every time I push the hood, I be solo. I jump out in the morning. Hey, what up, big homies? Da -da -da, go get my whatever I'm gonna do, go get me, order me some meal or whatever. It's not a spectacle when cowboy come through the hood. You know, like I said, when he came through, it was like an alien sighting. Like we seen an alien. Who the fuck is this guy? You know what I mean? It was an alien sighting. So, you know, uh, I'm a fixture around there and, and I'm trying to change around there. You trying to prove you from around there and your propaganda is leading my people into more destruction. Yeah. Don't lead my community into destruction. Don't speak on the Inglewoods, nigga, because you're not over here. Don't speak on nothing that's going on in the hood. Don't speak on the pilot. Don't speak on this. You rolled over there and did a publicity stunt. I was sitting there one day. My homeboy I just got out of jail with, a nigga from A. Trey Hoover. Pulled down Slauson, pulled up in the parking lot, jumped out, said, what up, cowboy? So don't act like you did something spectacular. Yeah. It was 100 homies out there. Nigga, my A-Trey Hoover pulled up, jumped out. The cowboy, much love. Shook hands. Man, good to see how you been. We chopped it up, conversation. He jumped and shit and left. Yeah. So you ain't did nothing about you popping up one day. Don't act like it's the normal. 
You feel me? Don't act like that's your normal routine. That's yeah. not your normal routine, because if that's your normal routine, you been to see me. You know, if you was really a solid homie, see solid homies, we got a we got a code. Like if me and cuz is beefing, we gonna meet up right there and we gonna handle it. We not even gonna we, get, we, we, get in we, we, we not even gonna we, we not even gonna play. I'm Close not even gonna call up. this partner and say, hey, the homie said this and the homie yeah. said that. Yeah. We're gonna go squabble up and nigga, boo boo, are you done with that man? The man, leave my name out your mouth and we're gonna continue to live yeah. and yeah. still be friends. Yeah, yeah. Real homies squabble up and that's that. I done see homies come to me, him and come to the meeting together, and we wind up chunking them, and then we go mm -hmm. back drinking the beer together, whatever. Yeah, right. yeah. You know, real homies, so these other niggas that's trying to prove they, they not real homies. Yeah. You're not real homies. You, you're not a, you, you, nobody in the community know you. You know, your only affiliation is 60, the 60. I, I, I asked him, I remember I, was asked, I posed yeah. the question. Yeah. And I still, a nigga said, this mean neighborhood. When did this mean neighborhood? I'm saying, when did this, Become neighborhood. Yeah. Throwing up the chunky ends. When does it become an end? When does it become an end? Yeah. This is a Roman numeral V and a one. This is a six. <laughs> you throwing up the six, nigga. <laughs> this is a Roman numeral V and a one. This is a six. You throwing up the six, nigga. Well, oh, huh, oh, huh. nigga, this is the six. You're throwing up a Roman normal V in the one. You're throwing up the six, nigga. When did it become an N? Yeah. Explain that to me. Yeah. When this is a Roman normal V in the one, the Roman numerals. This is a six mm -hmm. for 60s. This is a six you're throwing up. Just so the niggas that know this is a six. That's what this is. This is a six. Yeah. Neighborhood, whatever you want to call it, this is a six. Mm -hmm. You gangbangers that don't hood, don't hood. What on, on the six? That's a six right there. Mm -hmm. This is a six. Yeah. And I be hearing all, when did that become an end? Yeah. Y'all tell me. <laughs> but these are hardcore gangbangers. They know that nigga on hood. I'm the dead, obviously. <laughs> <laughs> real shit, just taught me some new shit. Yeah, real talk, real that, talk. Exactly. Real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what my big homie told me, your blue rag don't go in your right pocket, it go to your left. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know why. <laughs> why <on> my right. <laughs> I didn't know why, and the yeah, blood's yeah. wearing to the right. Yeah, 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 real talk, real talk. I had a blue and a gray rag mixed up on my back, on my butt. He like, he jumped out, nigga, where, where you from? <laughs> You feel me? Other big homies yeah. didn't say nothing. Yeah, yeah, other yeah. Other niggas, wow, didn't tell me. Now your shit going the other pocket. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. You know what this is? I'm like, no, nah, nigga, that's a Roman numeral. They got to tell me. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. They had to tell me. What do y'all niggas? Neighborhood, neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. All right, that's a six. Yeah, yeah. That's a six. <laughs> <laughs> Some niggas might be mad at six. me. You throwing up the six, nigga. That's a six, nigga. So when you when you chunking up that chunky one, nigga, no, you chunking up the six. Nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just know you chunking up the nigga the hood, cause you know, cause we was we was sixties and we always said neighbor, neighbor. Yeah, but no, yeah. no, no, that's the six. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> got you, got you. So y'all know you niggas fell suit at. Yeah, yeah. But I ain't condoning none of that. But that's the six. Yeah. And. It's time for change. Yeah, <laughs> Y'all yeah, got it yeah, fucked yeah. up. <laughs> Y'all got it yeah, fucked yeah, up. Yeah. It's time yeah. for change. Y'all yeah. got it fucked up. Wow. Hey, big bro. You know one more. You know. Uh, you know thing I wanted to uh, get into topic wise. You know uh, because I think that this is something that's important too in our community because it's been coming up so much. In fact, you even spoke on it earlier talking about. You know now we have a lot of you know people talking about snitching and all of this type of stuff that's going on out here. But um. You know, uh, recently, um, Kuda B, who was associated with uh, Takashi Six Nine, you know, when that whole takedown came and that happened, and um, Kuda B was um, actually a really close friend of Six Nine. He's one of the ones who Six Nine snitched on. Mm -hmm. um, but um, Kuda B recently just got out, you know, after serving, you know, his time and everything like that, and um, he took a plea, you know, so he got after, got out after three years and everything like that. Now, you know, he didn't, you know, go turn on any type of situation to to get out early or anything he just basically took a plea so he didn't have to you know go through trial um he went on clubhouse you know and there was um people from clubhouse and and whack was included in that and they was all calling him a snitch basically for taking a plea you know his name been out there could it be like why is my name out there and you know the the everybody in clubhouse was basically saying you know basically you a snitch you know and all that type of stuff so my my my, my question you know when it come down to that is um 
we have so many perspectives, man. You know, this is snitching, that is snitching. You know, we, we, you know, and I know we had this conversation before, but I specifically want to ask, do you see someone taking a plea as snitching? You know, like the everybody on Clubhouse took it and said, oh, he snitched. You took a plea. It's still snitching. Your paperwork says you agreed to, yeah, I did this, yeah, I did that. That's what your paperwork say. You a snitch. Do you take that as snitching for someone who take a plea as well? Well, if he only implemented himself, he told on himself to get a better deal. You know, if you now if you tell on yourself and then implement three or four other people, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, he said, if you tell on yourself and it's only you involved, you know what I mean? The thing is, by you having multiple defendants on a, a, it's a fair case or whatever it may be, by you taking a plea, yeah. Because now you basically saying, yeah, I did it, and these niggas ain't took their deal yet. They on their own. You know what I mean? So basically, you you fucking your boys. Like, nigga, mm-hmm. me and him catch a case, and I say, you know what? I'm taking the deal right now. And because he decided he want to like... continue to fight it. You feel me? So, uh, yeah, it all, yeah. Uh, you could look at it like that. Uh, you definitely could look at it like that. Uh, he did his, what his best interest is, but now if it only affects him, then that's different. But now if you got crimes and you hurry up and cop to a deal before then yeah, you're gonna be considered a snitch for sure. Yeah, You know, I've seen homies do that where this dude, they had three strikes, Cud didn't have no strikes. So he hurry up and copped a deal for like 15, but they had all day coming. So he was like, nigga, I gotta take this 15. Y'all got strikes, but I need to take this deal. So they they still consider it cause a snitch, whatever it may be, but uh, yeah. Yeah, so uh, that's a tough one right there though. He, he just did whatever was best in his best interest. But like you said, these niggas is civilians. These niggas ain't gangbangers. These niggas is just civilians. You know what I mean? Even though the rules go for everybody, but uh, they entertainers. They not they they entertainers. So you know, and and now they they reaping the repercussions of trying to be so hood, trying to be so hard, trying to you know, uh, yeah. Hope you're ready to deal with everything yeah. that man. come with it. Yeah, the thing is, the number if, one if, rule if, right anybody there. calling yeah, anybody facts. calling him a snitch though. It. The thing is, all he was supposed to do was push up with his paperwork and let them read the whole paperwork. All your court. You training. know, whack at. <laughs> well, yeah, no, the they got. They, I got your. Pa- no, you know, I went through the. <laughs> they got. They got AI paperwork. They got artificial intelligence <laughs> yeah. paperwork and shit nowadays. So you can't. Don't believe nothing. Come my whack face. You know what I mean. Uh, you know what I mean? A whack, whatever, whatever's going on for the week, whack in it. I ain't mad at him. I, I ain't a whack hater though. You know what I mean? I'm not a whack hater. You know what I mean? He just, yeah, he yeah. got his lane. He do what he do. That is what it is. Uh, uh, but every week he gonna have a new topic. You know what I mean? He's gonna have the insight. That's for sure. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? He gonna have the click of the week. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah, cause I ain't mad at him. He gonna have the click of the week though. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Now I'm glad you broke that down. I mean, it's it, it's good that we continue to. To, to because that's what's going on in the black community right now. What you see out there all the time, you're talking about snitching. Uh, this this person uh, interrogation tape came out. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, this person just went to jail for a gun. You know, this person just you know attempted murder. Like that's what's going on. So we have to talk about what's going on. You know what I'm saying? You know, it it ain't about trying to you know keep the propaganda going with you know with, with beef and drama and and the issues in the streets. No, we got to tell the stories. You know, that's why I cr- created a show called The City. Telling the stories, you could see a little kid on that show getting, getting, getting killed because it happens in real life. Yeah. People, I'm, I'm gonna just say this, and then we're gonna move on. When I showed, I showed this, um, this series to a mixed crowd, and the majority that was in that per, uh, particular crowd was white. You know, I did uh, three showings mm-hmm. for the city. You know, the first two was like mostly us, and I did one showing. It was mixed, and majority, uh, the majority of people there were white. Bro, after they saw it. They was coming up to me crying and saying, is that really what goes on out there? Mm-hmm. They don't even know that's how we're living. That's our lives, bro. You know what I'm saying? They don't know. Yeah, you know, you know, I lost the uncle to this or I lost the auntie to that, like in real life. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand like this. Yeah, it's gangs on every block. You know what I'm saying? Just to get to school, you don't know what you're going to run into. You may not even make it to school. Yeah. They don't know that. So that's why it's important that we talk about it and say, nah, these stories is real, and this is how we get through it. You get what I'm saying? So, so yeah, definitely, yeah, definitely. I had, I had an experience like that when I was in college. And I went to University of San Diego, and yeah. one of my theater classes, Dope. we had to write stories. You know, so I just wrote a story about back at home. Simple story to me, but I didn't realize once I put it out there, I had to have other people act it out, the whole class was, was crying. 
Yeah. You know, my teacher couldn't even at the end. She was just like, "If somebody else leads, the the, 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 the yeah, because <laughs> because she she couldn't do it." And I'm just like, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, you know, yeah. what I'm saying it's just our life. You know, what I'm saying yeah. this is how we live. This is how we do things. So it's like the world really don't. They don't know. They yeah, don't know yeah. how it is. Yeah, you look they, at movies like like Boys in the Hood. You look at Colors. You know, what I'm saying all that stuff was the real. You know, we don't have movies like that now. Yeah, yeah. You look at movies now, everything watered down. Yeah, yeah. Facts. I don't care who's in it. I don't care who was part of directing it. It's watered down. Facts. The industry won't even allow it to be as real and authentic as it used to be. Facts. Not unless two because niggas is kissing, but we don't see that. Man, man. Come man. 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 Bleep that out, man. Man, man. 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 that's a fact. Yeah, yeah, nothing they to something. The they so. gonna say nothing to something. It went to nothing. <laughs> 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 no, you know, I, 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 <laughs> hey, you know, I I do love that the people out there they be noticing. Like, I be seeing people in the comments, and sometimes they write me, they DM and stuff like that. They be like, man, I love the podcast because it's real. Mm-hmm. I don't see other podcasts that it feels real. All the other podcasts feel like it's commercial. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying, and things like that. You know, y'all podcasts feel real. It feel like we connecting, yeah. Yeah, you we know, never things like nothing. that, authentic, you know, exactly. We, we just discuss our week and discuss what's going on in life, you know what I mean? It's a difference when you got life experiences, you know. Uh, uh, I discuss a lot of experiences. I really can't discuss nothing that I hadn't been through. So, you know, I right. speak so boldly about the stuff that I speak on is because I've been through it, I, you know what I mean? It's easy to speak on facts. You know what I mean? I don't speak on my opinion. You know, I speak on facts. You know, uh, some of these dudes, when I say they're a buster, that's a fact. You know what I mean? They know it's my opinion. You know what I mean? You know, that's not my opinion. That's just a simple fact. You know what I mean? So uh, if they call me a buster, that's an opinion. You know what I mean? That's their opinion. You yeah. know what I mean? But uh, yeah, yeah. I, I tend to do, dwell on facts. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Me, I'm, I've always been a win, loser, draw. You know, if I'm right, we can squabble up. You know, even if I'm wrong, we can squabble up. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. Uh, that's just me. And, uh, um, and it's better than shooting and killing each other. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So I don't want to be like I'm, uh, you know, preaching peace and I still want to fight. You know what I mean? But some, the only thing they respect is violence. They respect, they, they respect. My hands is long. They expect that they work. They don't. They if like I could say, had I been a little shorter and had I been a little smaller, they'd have been ran me up out of there. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, uh, a lot of these clowns they busters and they run behind their hoods. You know, so niggas quit running behind your hoods. Be a man. I seen niggas that don't. Buy, I have seen non affiliates get packed out. When, when we start packing out non affiliates, when when a non affiliate can't get a fair one. You know what I mean? So when you start seeing the rules get watered down. I, I, I get it. I, I grew up around there, and, and you know, uh, uh, I was like one of the homies, even though I wasn't connected, but I, I'm one of them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got packed out, stabbed, and everything like that. But but it wasn't, I'm not going to say it was from a standpoint that, oh, he a non affiliate, that's some dude, let's just go get him. Nah, like, you know, I, I would. I was always homies with all the homies. That was me. I was the one, you know, growing up. I know y'all had the ones. He wasn't an affiliate, but he was the homie. He probably yeah, played basketball, exactly. did music or whatever. But I was always connected. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But people need to know what do happen. You don't got to just be a affiliate. Nigga will pack your ass out no matter what. You get what I'm saying? So, so yeah, you know what I'm saying? We all go through that, you know? Yeah. And, yeah. I, and I just hate people that run with the pack, though. You know, uh, I always been fighting for the underdog. You know what I mean? So I'm tired of these dudes that run with the pack. You know what I mean? So... You know, I'm trying to change the pack. You know, we ain't we ain't thinking like that no more. You yeah. know, it's new generation. Mm-hmm. Uh, I see Bloods and Crips getting along. It just all depend on the introduction. Yeah. As long as they introduce right, they can get along. If they right. introduce, if you if you introduce disrespectfully, you niggas ain't gonna never get along. They gonna be beefing forever. You yeah, know what I mean? If you introduce them right, you know, uh, him and my cousin can meet on different terms. But now if I could say, hey bro, this is my little cousin right here, and boom, they can meet up and it's an introduction. Now, when they see each other in traffic, it's it's a rapport. Yeah. But they meet on their own under different circumstances. Where you from? Oh, I'm from Wood Blood. Where you from? Ooh. And then and now, it, 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 the, int- the introduction mm-hmm. was fucked up. Yeah. So now we got to learn how to introduce ourselves to each other. Because in L.A., we going to match energy. Yeah. You come back, where you from, cuz? <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga, right here, blood, nigga, big back, woo, yeah, woo, yeah. nigga, we gonna match you your energy. Yep. And if you don't match your energy, you, oh, that nigga's a bitch. He's a, a buster. Yeah. Nigga, yep. neighborhood, nigga, nigga, turn it off. I'm keeping pushing. 
Well, yeah. nigga, match your nigga in the neighborhood. Blood, what up, blood, nigga? Either y'all gonna say, oh, all right, 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 right. Yeah, yeah. Or y'all gonna keep going and it, it is going down. Yeah. Right? yeah. You yeah. feel me? We gonna keep going up or we gonna be like, okay, he ain't backing down. I ain't backing down. All right, all right, you hood. I'm hood. All right. All right. Yeah. What you down here shopping for? What you need? What you doing, nigga? All right. I mean, you feel me? He's like, he's can't just, he's like, cause you know, that, that's how us in the 40s always got into it. Nigga be like 60, like 40s, like 60, 40, 60, 40. He's like, all right, damn, man. Yeah, we all with it. Nigga. Come on. Uh, yeah. You know what I mean? That's how we always get the introduction. Yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But we all we die our homies. So if a nigga, if I walk up to him and say, Where you from? He's like 60s. I'm like, neighborhood. Nigga, 60s. Neighborhood. Nigga, 60s. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. damn, this, it's going to be a problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's all about the introduction. We need to learn how to greet each other no matter what hoods we from. And if we greet each other with respect, you're going to get it. Yeah, yeah. If you disrespect a nigga from LA and he from a hood, you're going to get it back. Unless yeah, yeah. he a buster. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're going to get it back. Because even yeah. these busters is roaring up. You yeah, know what I yeah, mean? Yeah. They, they, nigga, they, they, they'll send some clickbait a mile away at your ass, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Them motherfuckers, instead of taking the fade, nigga, they'll yeah. do a cold post on your ass, nigga. Don't yeah. have these, these cyber crips email you, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> email you this fade, nigga. Fuck you, nigga. Send that email, nigga. Hey, you know, big homie. Cyber crip. <laughs> hey, you right about that. Introduction is very, very important in L.A., you know, because I, I, I'll never forget when I, w I went out with one of the white boy homies who was filming, you know, the city, getting drone shots. And we was over there. This is when the mural and stuff was up, and y'all was out on the streets selling the shirts when, when Nip first passed away and everything yeah, like that, right? Yeah. And we was getting drone shots, and I guess some of the <laughs> homies over there saw the drone. So the drone was coming back, and about you probably know a lot of them that came up over there. They followed the drone to oh, a nigga, shit. and a dude, the white dude. I said, "Nigga, get in the car. Let me talk." Cause I, cause I already know I connect. I connect with this. Shit. I said, "Get in the car. Get in the car." The drone came, bro. I grabbed. It was like, "Homie, what you doing with the drone shot, homie? Yeah. Now give it, give me that drone." I said, "I said, look, this was going on. I got number respect for over yeah. here. We filming, you know." And, yeah. and I talked to him, and then after that, we shook hands, and everything was cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, got, but but yeah, the introduction. That, boy, yeah, it was Ooh, the, yeah, it was the introduction, knowing how to communicate. Not not trying to look hard yeah, or, or anything boys, like hey, that. Hey, this is my drone. I don't yeah, give a fuck. I, 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 <laughs> I don't give a fuck. That's why I told that nigga. I said, get in the car, bro. Get in the car now. You know, I don't want you to say nothing. You know what I'm saying, bro? Fucking yeah, 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 yeah. Sure. So you, nah, yeah, we we yeah. snatched a couple drones up out of there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We're yeah. going for that. Them. Yeah. I throw the t-shirt over that motherfucker. Fuck up out of here, nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we weren't no going. We weren't going for that shit. Yeah, we weren't going for that. We see that drone. We know. No, 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 no. I remember that yeah, night yeah, the yeah. balloons. I was sitting in my Audi. I, I don't know why niggas thought I was broke the day the nip passed, but I was in my Audi. <laughs> and I remember that night the balloons. I was sitting in my Audi. I don't know why niggas thought I was broke the day the nip passed, but I was in my Audi. And when them balloons busted, they thought it was gunshots. And uh, man, I seen the whole parking lot scramble. I might have had fifty people standing on top of my Audi. I'm in the car. Yeah, these niggas on top of my car. I'm sitting there like, for real. <laughs> like, like for real, yeah. yeah, yeah. Nigga, this is Audi A7 on Deuce Deuces, you motherfucking bitch ass niggas, you know what I mean? <laughs> but they all on, I mean, I seen them on the concrete, they were, they were slipping on the candle wax, so it didn't let, mm -hmm. let social media and let the news put it out, it was shooting, and all these people got yeah. stabbed. Yeah. Wasn't no shooting, nobody got stabbed, they yeah. just fell on top of the candles and they was all getting got cut trampled. up off the candle. Yeah, yeah, that, they, yeah the, the balloons went up and hit the power lines and said boom, yeah. scared the shit out of everybody, you know what I mean? Them motherfuckers mm -hmm. were scrambling on that hot wax, nigga, and got fucked up. Little, Damn. Little kids, everybody, you know, they like I say, they was pushing against my door. I mean, I seen niggas' faces smudged against the window and shit. And <laughs> <laughs> you just sitting there with the blood. <laughs> sitting like that, yeah. Yeah, like after that, then the homies got the wolf and shit. I jumped out the car and started fighting, you know what I mean? But, mm. you know, it was an amazing experience, you know. Uh, like after Nip passed, we was in so much of a shock. Then the funeral came, and just to witness that funeral, you know, just for the whole city to come out, how we drove from. The Staples Center all the way to Watts, then all the way down by Ladera, came all the way back down Slauson, then made it to Angeles Mesa, you know what I mean? That was like, that was amazing, you yeah. know what I mean? Especially mm -hmm. going through Watts, seeing both sides of the streets, you know, it, 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 it was crazy, you yeah. know what I mean? Just to see the city come out like that, that was amazing for me. Uh, never seen that, except for like during the, the peace treaty, we did it, you know what I mean? But other than that, for the, for the, hood, for the whole city to come out for one individual, you know, uh, other than somebody like Michael Jackson or something, you know what yeah. I mean? That that was stupid. You know, for them to be at the Staples Center, 
Because after he passed, I was like, I don't know where he was going to give a funeral at. Like, yeah, not for yeah. them. Uh, only yeah. place was the Staples Center. Yeah. yeah I think yeah. John Singleton, they did him at Angeles Mesa. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. Angeles, Angeles, Angeles. West uh, Angeles, West right? Angeles, yeah. You yeah. did him at uh-huh. West Angeles. And, you know, I thought John Singleton would be just like as big as Nip, but. Uh, Nip was big. Oh yeah, it was different I mean, with Nip. It was, it was definitely. Different. Like, he was the people's know. champ. You know yeah. what I mean? That's that's for sure. You know what I mean? He was definitely the people's champ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely, definitely. Well, you know, before you uh closing out, cowboy, and you know, last words from you, you know, T. So I just want to read out this Bible verse. So uh, Bible verse of the day: Deuteronomy thirty one six. Be strong and courageous. Do not fear or be in dread of them, for it is the Lord your God who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you man that's powerful that's, that's powerful man yeah you know that's really that's real really just he's telling you exercise your faith you know what i mean uh when these obstacles obstacles they gonna come your way just have enough faith that that god got your back like you know what no matter what he got my back and put it in his hands you know what i mean uh you feel me just know that he gonna go to bat for you you know what i mean uh um these people, they, they try to shoot you down. You know what I mean? Just tell God, take care of it, and you'll see. You see. You just see how they just, they're not going to succeed. You know what I mean? They're going to get caught up because they live in that lifestyle. So just keep continue to do the right thing. And it don't matter what nobody say about you. God going to bless you for doing the right thing. You know, if, if, you, if the world love you, if they just love you, then you're doing the wrong shit. You feel me? Cause yeah. that I mean, you of the world and you doing the world is shit. You know what I mean? So they're not supposed to like what we doing. Uh-huh. They ain't because we outnumbered. You know what I mean? So they're not supposed to like it. You know, yeah. we 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 are gonna get a lot of negative feedback because we doing the right thing. Yeah. Cause the majority doing the wrong. Yeah. Yeah. So if you got a little group doing the right thing, oh look at them goody goody two shoe ass motherfuckers. They nitpicking. Yeah. Like we was. Look at that nerd going to school. That nigga. That nigga's a computer programmer now. That nigga balling right now. That nigga got nine six. Teslas. You know what I mean? This nigga, you feel what I'm saying? The same ones that we was clowning. We gang banging. We clowning these squares. The motherfucker out there selling houses. The motherfuckers out there living. Mm-hmm. We are acting like we hook tough. Mm-hmm. Nigga still on the county. You still got a GR. Nigga, you still got the EBT card. Mm-hmm. Nigga, these motherfuckers, we went to school. They balling. They on vacation. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they on vacation. <laughs> they running shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So. You know, we can't sit there and, and lead. If we're not gonna lead our kids down that road, quit getting on these podcasts, quit talking about this gangbang shit. Now, if, you, if, you, if your kid is out there sagging in his pampers, doing this thing, then, then, then go ahead, preach that shit. Yeah. If you letting your kid do it, and you passing out guns to your kid, fuck it. Yeah. But if you ain't doing that for your kids, don't preach it to my kids, don't mm-hmm. preach it to my youth, don't preach it to my community. You feel me, if you're not willing to preach it to your kids. Feel me? If you're willing to let your kids do it, then you know more power to you. Then do it and preach your shit. But quit getting on your podcast and all these different platforms and preach this gangbang and preaching how hard you gotta be preaching all this shit if you're not preaching it to your kids. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I, I looked at Nip as a little brother. I looked at him like a son. So I didn't want, out of my love, I didn't want him to go to prison. So when I meet niggas like T-Saw, I don't want you to do nothing wrong. I want you to do this. Let's do business. Mm-hmm. Let's do some other shit. I can easily say, come on, let's do this. Easy to get somebody on the wrong shit. Yeah. Everybody wants, right. oh, let's twist some credit. No, nah, why don't you do your credit right? Yeah. Why don't you get your shit right? Yeah. Because now you can make some quick money on your credit, then now you fuck for 7, 10, 20 years. Yeah. Or you can do the right thing mm-hmm. and you good for the rest of your life. Facts. You feel me? So it's got it's all about choices. Life is about choices and like I said, when I was coming up rapping, I rapped about gang banging and a lot of these youngsters looked up to it. Yeah. And I didn't feel good about that because mm. the loyalty that I had with my hood is no longer there. So quit preaching that when that's not there no more. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Quit telling them that, oh, it's just so much love. Just join the hood, it's gonna be great. No, it's fucked up over here. Go to school, go to college, go get, don't miss out on college, man. You're going to miss out on some good shit. The yeah. best years of your life is going to be in college. Yes. You feel me? Yeah. So go to college. Fuck this hood shit. Fuck sitting on the corner drinking beers. Nigga, pull your pants up. Nigga, go to school. So we got to continue to be big homies. We got to continue to be them uncles. We got to continue to be them dads. Mm-hmm. We got to continue to, you know what? My bad. I was out there fucking up. I know you looked up to this bullshit, but look, it ain't the lick. It's on us to, to make these changes. We can't just look at the youngsters and say, ah, oh, 
We got hold up, bro. Pull your pants up, bro. What do you What do you want? What do you want out of life? You know, ask. What do you want? Yeah. You feel me? Why are you 16 in the gas station panhandling? What's the problem? What's going on in your home? You feel me? These kids are going through rough times. You feel me? So what are we gonna do to change this shit? So we so we ain't gotta witness all this senseless violence for nothing. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> I think we could get along. I think the color, I think the colors is fading. So now can we get rid of the pride and the envy and that other stuff? You know, color wise, I see bloods and crips functioning. But now can we get rid of the envy, the hate, and, and can we can tone this social media down to where we can have just positive platforms? Yeah, yeah. Facts, facts. Man, that's a fact, that's a fact, man. That's real. You got yeah, any, real. any last words, t -Saw? Hey, man, any last words I gotta just say is, hey, always remain positive, you feel me? And definitely come down to the shop, man. Stop playing with us. Man, come down to the man. shop, come get your stuff done. We gonna hook y'all up on, on every level, every level. Everybody know us, and out of everything we talked about today, I definitely just want to say, you know, everybody just stay strong within you. Yeah, yeah. You know, like you said, at the end of the day, just do the right thing. There's a lot of internet warriors out here. There's <laughs> a lot of prayer alert warriors. There's a lot of people that's out there really doing it in the field yeah. instead of doing all that talking. Yeah, real talk, real talk. You know, we, we surround yourself point. around positive people, though. Surround yourself around positive people. Surround yourself around people that's doing better than you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, surround yourself around people that's gonna li uplift you. Surround people that, so be around people that's gonna give you good advice. You feel me? Don't surround yourself around people that's always negative and give you negative advice or telling you why your plan is gonna fail. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Talk to people that's on a positive page and to eliminate yourself. If you around, like I said, 50 cents that you're around four broke niggas, you're gonna be the fifth broke uh -huh. nigga. You know what I mean? So. You know what I mean? So surround yourself Facts. around people that's trying to get money. They may not have it, but at least they trying. Put mm -hmm. yourself around the right individuals and you can make it. You know what yeah. I mean? And stay away from the negative shit. Uh, and uh, one brick a day. That's one what I've been going by, brick a day. That consistency. That's it, one brick a day. And you look up, you got that wall. Yeah. Like I said, it's a brick a day. You're looking at the big picture and you swamps and you don't know where to begin, but you know what? One brick a day. Brick a day. One brick a day, live Facts. by that. One brick a day, some days two bricks. You know what I mean? But no matter what, do something towards your goal every day. You might got five different goals, but do one thing toward that goal every day. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? When you look up, that goal will be closer than you think. But every day you don't do nothing to that goal, that's one more day you gotta make up. Mm. You know what I mean? Right. So it's one step at a time. You gotta make it to this flight of steps. You can look at it and be like, man, that's a lot of steps. Or you can take one at a time. Mm -hmm. And before you know it, you halfway up, you're like, shit, we halfway there. Yeah. Too late to turn back now. Can't turn, it's gonna take more energy to turn back. Cause nigga, I ain't got that much further to go. Now I can't turn back. Like like when I was in Vegas last week, nigga, I was, I was losing 80 bucks out of my hundred. It was too late to turn back. I had to, I had to lose the whole hundred. <laughs> Like it all got it. <laughs> Bitch ass nigga. <laughs> couldn't turn back. I had to lose the whole hundred. I couldn't nigga. just leave with the dub. I, said, I had to lose the whole hundred, nigga. I was mad as a bitch. Man, that's just crazy. Quit with the dub. I want to give you something to eat with that dub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, go. Man, Let's go. Let's go to the food. Boy, oh, that's comedy. Shit. That's comedy. Vegas used to let you in, nigga. It's over, nigga. Nah, <laughs> nah. It's definitely over, man. Oh, they taking man, everything. Over. Sure. Uh, one team. I had a baseball pick, and nigga, one team fucked it up. I'd have won 1,700 on one ticket, then I would have won 700 on the other ticket, then 100 on the third ticket. Yeah, yeah. One team Our fucked legs. all three tickets. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah. All three tickets. Oh, uh, man. Just when you think you had every combination. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. So parlays be hitting up. Oh, yeah. Parlays be hitting. Yeah, yeah. I, I, had a $20, I had a $20 bet that pays 1,700. You know, if it hit, it hit. $5 mm -hmm. bet that pays 700. You know, so I'm going for some stupid shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. how you do it. Yeah, That's yeah. How you do it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It hurt. It hurt when you lose those close parlays, though. Oh, oh man. yeah. When it came to that one team, you know, hurt. I don't mind it just getting blowed out. Yeah, I got. I picked seven teams. I got five losses. Okay. Fuck yeah, yeah. You know what yeah, I mean, yeah. but when it get down to the one, last, it uh, always be the last game. Yep. <laughs> it always be the last that was game. The last game that got you. No, I'm just saying. I, was about I to went say, through that man. shit, man. You it's ain't always lying. The last game. It's always the last game. Always the last. Game. Uh, uh, T saw before uh, big homie closes out. Let the people know where they could, you know, come and get them some shirts at. You know where they gotta go. Oh, definitely, y'all come down Fashion District, 100 East Pico Boulevard, Los Angeles, California. Nine zero zero one five. Y'all slide on through. 
it's not hard to find us. As we said earlier, we are one of the two black owned businesses down there within a the mile radius. So y'all come down there and mess with us. Real talk, we'll, we'll get you right. That's you 100. Last message, no. I say always look out for loved ones, support unconditionally. Remember, fear enters right when success is obtained and never lack equalness. That's what it's about. And that's 100 East Pico. If y'all want to tap in, man, y'all come support. Y'all get some of this all surface only, man. Y'all tap in. Y'all y'all come support. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Uh, y'all need y'all design. Y'all tap in. Y'all holla at T-Saw. He get y'all through the game. Uh, like I said, once again, this all surface only. Y'all support that. You know yes, what sir. I mean? Y'all come Definitely. support it. You Not know what I mean? Not all money out. <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not all yeah, money out. All Don't surfing get to, only. You yeah, know what I mean? We all and, surfing and, our own wave. We yeah, surfing yeah, our yeah, own yeah, wave. Yeah. We riding this wave. You know what? And we gonna ride it to the fullest. When we jumped on this wave, you know, uh, it wasn't about the money for me. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Other than that, I would skip to all the podcasts. I would have stayed doing Vlad, no jumpers and all that stuff. You know, uh, when I came here, it was about the message. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we not run around just looking for individuals for certain clicks. We we want to teach. We want to teach you guys something. Mm -hmm. right. You know what I mean? If you want to learn, come fuck with us. Come we don't we, we don't need a come million followers. We right. need we need shit a hundred thousand that really won't change. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? I take two. Yeah. I, I see a lot. I see. Man. I see a lot of motherfuckers that got a, a, a million followers, but they not talking about nothing. nothing. So they not get the engagement. So. So what are you doing with your audience? How are you gonna uplift your audience? You know, I think mm -hmm. our audience, they tune in to us because they're gaining something. Yeah, and, you know, yeah. and we're something different. We None of this shit is scripted, you know? Mm -hmm. We nah. just come off of the mind and let God lead us. And God it. lead, he say what needs to be said, you yeah. know what I mean? And that's what's authentic about this shit. We don't have to make up nothing, you know what I mean? We I talk about life experiences. I only could talk about what I went through. You know, man, I only can mm -hmm. talk about what, what God gave me the discernment, you know, to, to talk about. Yeah. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So uh, that's what makes it authentic. So, you know, when, when your fans say they feel it, they, they feel it. Yeah. Because they see we surrounded by so much fake. Now, when they see us, they're like, damn, you know what? That's a breath of fresh air. Yeah. You know what I mean? To Facts. get some positivity. Because we're surrounded by all negative. Yeah. Just yeah. scroll down the internet and see what's going on. Woody Whoop snitching. Woody Whoop telling. Whack 100 mm. bent over. Da da da. Da da da. Yada yada. That's the But like I said, I, I'm, not, I'm not a Whack 100 hater, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> not a hater at all, though. You know what I mean? Uh, you know, I commend the guy. He's a businessman, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. But, but you want some know. clickbait. Oh, you know, you want some clickbait. You know, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. it is what it is. But another episode, talk and take a yes, fade, sir. pull up or shut up. We got my guy T Saul in the house. Yes, we sir. got Paul P. Y'all tap yes, in. Sir. It's all about change. If we can do it, you can do it. Can Let's, do change. It. Let's change. Let's change. Let's never give up. Never yeah. give up. Talk and take a fade. Let's get it. Let's get it, baby.